What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Marlon. We're back at it again. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back at it again with another one. Sure, my quality is good. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Testing mic check one, two. Mic check one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Check. Check in mic check one, two, three. Okay, we're good. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, make sure you guys give the, the show a like as well. <laughs> we definitely got some things to talk about today, man. Uh, let me let me try to adjust my brightness a little bit here so I don't come off too oversaturated. I think we're fine. I think we're fine now. So how's everybody doing? Hopefully everybody's <laughs> hopefully everybody is having a great, great time today. Make sure you guys give the show a like, give the show a retweet, put us out on Reddit, Facebook, all that jazz. Uh, just a couple of housekeeping stuff. <clears throat> Hit that like button. Also, link will be down in the description to our official merch. Our merch is up right now. So link will be down in the description. Go check it out. Go cop one. Support the channel. Um, also, check out Control Freak. They are a channel sponsor as well. Use code MGN to save 15% or 10% off. I think they're changing up. Um, how much the percentage there is. And if you want to get any performance sticks or anything like that for your controller needs, go check them out. All right. So we do have some things to talk about here, man. And of course, the Lakers champs. Of course, I love the Lakers, love Kobe Bryant and um, rip Kobe, um, love LeBron James. So yeah, very, very exciting that the Lakers won uh, the championship and everything like that. So yeah, most definitely shout outs. <laughs> All right. So we're one month away from the PS5 releasing. So we're going to talk about a lot of stuff uh, pertaining to the PlayStation 5 being one month away now. Finally, finally, today is October 12, 2020 at approximately 324 p.m. So yes, we are literally a month away from greatness. OK. And of course, with the Series X, we're a little bit under a month like, yeah, we're a little bit under a month because that, that comes out um, on the 10th and everything. So very, very exciting stuff for these next gen consoles. Uh, we're also going to be talking about the PS5 pre-order wave three. Now, this is a rumor. So we're going to talk about this. And apparently this is going to be the largest shipment yet of PS5 uh, pre-orders and this is stemming from Amazon with their Prime Day and everything like that. So this is what the rumors have been brewing up um, ever since early October. We've been hearing a lot of uh, stuff about Wave 3 pre-orders, you know, happening mid uh, October and this is technically mid October getting ready to happen this week here. So definitely going to be going over a lot of that stuff for you guys. Uh, we're also going to be talking about Dirt 5. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You know, dirt as as a fan of dirt, you know, from the old days, you know, what I'm saying I've been playing dirt since like what? 360. I've been playing dirt since PC, you know, what I'm saying and not impressed. I'm I'm not going to lie and say that I'm blown away by this game. So we're going to talk about dirt five. And what really hurts me the most is that this is the first true gameplay that we have ever gotten representing the xbox series x we can't count halo infinite because halo infinite was running on pc it was not running on the box right uh, i know some people will say well the medium but the medium i wouldn't count the medium because it was sort of like a gameplay trailer i'm talking about actual gameplay like gameplay running on the the the, the system live uh this is the first first representation and i'm i'm just gonna keep it real with you guys i'm not impressed you know what i'm saying i understand that this is a cross-generation game but i'm gonna tell you guys right now there's a lot of cross-generation games that came out on ps4 that looks way better that came out on xbox one that looks way better than this game you know what i'm saying so we're definitely going to be talking about this uh we're also going to talk about xbox series x retail units are in warehouses now getting ready to ship out 
to our retailers and everything. So we do have um, an image that was actually taken uh, from a warehouse. So we have so many Series X's. So it looks like it's a, it's enough for everybody, right? And we also have the first unboxing. Literally, somebody got their hands on the Xbox uh, Series X early and they already unboxing it and everything like that so uh, we're gonna definitely take um, a look at that not the whole full video but of course a tweet about it and everything like that so definitely interesting that series x one month away literally under a month away and people already have their hands on the xbox series x already uh, we're also going to be talking about um, IGN basically put out that the PS5 is more than 80% of next gen uh, pre-orders and everything. Once again, I'm not surprised there. A lot of people have been flocking to the PS5, you know, for this generation because of the exclusive games and, you know, PlayStation brand is just a bigger brand. So we're going to talk more about that. Make sure you guys give uh, the show a thumbs up, man. We've been slacking on that and I know you guys can hit the like button. All right. So please, it helps the show out. It helps the algorithm out to push out the show more uh, to a lot more people and everything. So appreciate you guys. Um, we're also going to talk about Cyberpunk uh, 2077. Uh, being promoted for the ps5 and of course the xbox series x as well um night uh, uh 50 with the five dollars says all those images uh were from an amazon warehouse on the east coast oh interesting um <clears throat> the real craig with the five dollars says marlon uh did you hear about xbox getting sued because yes we're going to talk about that yes sir yes sir yes sir um, we're also going to be talking about Rockstar buys Crackdown 2 developer. So we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about the Xbox controller lawsuit. Um, we're also going to talk about Nintendo Switch Joy-Con price drop in Japan. Hmm. And Nintendo, they're the next ones right next to Microsoft with Joy-Con drifting lawsuit. Same thing here with the Xbox uh, controllers and everything like that. So I guess both companies can't catch a break, even though with Nintendo, things got, have gotten a little bit better on their side with that particular thing, like offering uh, people options to, you know, fix the controller, the Joy-Con for free and things of that nature. So they, they're trying to do the best that they can uh, with that uh, uh, particular situation. So we're also going to be talking about some TV recommendations and um, we're going to talk about the Sony X900H. This is supposed to be a PS5 ready TV, but it's really not ready right now, <laughs> but it's an insane deal on it. And I really want to kind of talk about it with you guys as well. And of course, we do have some more stuff that we are going to be going over here. So if you guys can do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that like button. It says I tagged you at Roberto Serrano tweet about GT GT7. Oh, OK. Okay, that's cool. <clears throat> Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, uh, for putting us out there like that, man. Appreciate the love. But like I said before, we're going to talk. We're definitely going to talk right now. There's a few things that I wanted to bring to you guys' attention when it comes to pre-orders and everything like that. It seems as though like this week is a very, very interesting week when it comes to pre-orders. A lot of different countries like Europe and Japan is starting up here. So we're going to talk a little bit much more about that. Remember, I told you guys to keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open because this is definitely the week if you're trying to uh, get a PlayStation. Um, <laughs> this is the week. Yeah, if you try to get a PlayStation 5 pre-ordered, uh, let's see here. It's a uh, get good with the two dollar Canadian says dirt five looks like San Andreas laughing my butt off straight trash. Uh, let's see here. Is that TV going to be better than the LG Q LED 55 inch? Honestly, you know what? I'm going to be honest <clears throat> from what I'm hearing. It seems like this is like the best TV that you can actually buy for the price right now rather than going with OLED. So we're going to talk more about that once we get there. Don't worry. 
um backman uh with the five says bro what is the name of the uh chill music played in the start of the stream also um appreciate these uh streams every week thank you so much man i appreciate that i would have to take a look back at that uh for you most of my stuff that i do have is sort of like um custom and everything like that so <clears throat> I'll, I'll take a look at it some of it is just like tailor-made and things like that so i got you guys covered uh gt7 two weeks ago um that's what was being said oh what are you talking about with that tomahawk something i forgot what it was it was just like a little tease or whatnot but let's talk about our main topic here all right um and this is this is good this is very 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 good for a lot of people so the playstation 5 is literally one month away and we've been waiting we've been wait a focus camera jesus focus garbage camera um we've been wait, we've been waiting for so long for the PlayStation 5 to come out. And one of the biggest things right now, so we are literally officially one month away from the system coming out and we still don't have the UI yet. We still don't have the UI yet. Where is the UI? I see a lot of people tagging me and this is the type of thing that is kind of crazy because when people know that you are in a certain position they start asking oh you know marley you know when the ui look 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 we are one month away we still don't have the ui yet okay insane Ooh. but like i said knowing sony sony is sony feels like they don't have to rush right now and put the ui out there they're like you know what we don't i mean what do we have to prove right now you know what i'm saying they, they don't necessarily have to really do much is it right no <laughs> it's not right we need to see the freaking ui right now and so i see a lot of people saying well is it something wrong with the u uh with the ui is it something wrong with the ps no, nothing is wrong nothing is wrong everything is prepped and ready to go sony is just taking their merry time on it okay now i see a lot of people saying oh maybe it's going to be this week things are subject to change so while you're sitting here thinking that oh you're going to get the ui this week or oh you're going to get the ui next week who knows because you can have somebody on the inside telling you hey sony have something planned on the 15th and then it might change from the 15th to another date maybe to the the end of the month or on the 25th or something like that but this is very very exciting now because we're one month away i know a lot of people still don't have a playstation 5 right now people are scrambling for tvs people let me say this right now which we're going to save the tv topic for the end but let me just touch up a, a little bit on this one right now you don't necessarily have to rush out and get a hdmi 2.1 tv right now unless you're just future proofing yourself because there is literally besides call of duty right call of duty cold war multiplayer having 120 fps i mean that's really about it there's not really a lot of games you know that are at launch that's going to give you 120 fps you know what i'm saying that is going to just blow you away to where you need to just jump out and get a 4k 120 fps tv you know what i'm saying or 120 hertz tv you don't necessarily have to break the bank and do that right now you'll be fine with your hdmi 2.0 tv but i'm just saying this right now a lot of people are scrambling trying to find a ps5 and so what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to try to to make it my point of duty to try to help as many people as i can whether it's on twitter or whether i'm working live right here with you guys i'm gonna try to help y'all as much as possible to secure the bag to get a playstation 5 because i know how tough it is for a lot of people right now uh thank you guys so much um danny b for subscribing welcome aboard make sure you hit that notification bell on all really really do appreciate it and so yeah i don't know what some of you guys are going to be getting um i know some of you guys are telling me you're going to be picking up demon souls uh miles morales uh some of you guys saying you're going to pick up destruction all stars some of y'all saying y'all picking up uh you know sack boy adventures like me personally my two main games that i really want 
is Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and Demon Souls. Now, Call of Duty, I'm still kind of like up in the air on it. I might cop it just to play with some of you guys, but right now my two must have games is miles morales and demon souls i gotta have those two games prepped and ready to go at launch i don't care about anything else right now miles morales and demon souls for me and um hopefully uh you just subscribed tarot thank you so much for subscribing welcome aboard make sure you click that notification bell on all and so <clears throat> for me personally right now that's that's i'm already locked and loaded i already have all my accessories locked in uh it says do you know any uh good hdmi 2.1 monitors there is none out right now i know um acer is making one i know who else is making one this company called eve if i'm not mistaken uh they're making one there's really not a lot right now and most of them are not coming out till like around holiday like like christmas time ish around that that period some of them are like next year so there's really not a lot right now i know asus is coming out with one and that one i think is going to be like 1500 or something like that if i'm not mistaken or uh, 1300 dollars, they're expensive and if you're going to spend that type of money you might as well just get a freaking tv right you might as well get the creme de la creme right now which is the the cx right so if you're going to spend that type of money now uh wheeling through life with brian says when do you think we should get a uh, hdmi 2.1 tv i would say this since we're since we're in the realm of talking about tvs i would say wait until the f like the first year to see we already know about horizon forbidden west coming out we know god of war is coming out i would say first or second year before you just jump on and just get a hdmi 2.1 tv i would say first to second year because sometimes in the first year you might see titles that are going to really give you that 120 fps buttery smooth um sort of fps now you got dirt five of course like i say you got call of duty black ops but if those if you don't care about those games then there's really no point in buying one it's not necessarily um something that you need to jump on right now to really enjoy the ps5 or the series x no because you're still fine with your hdmi 2.0 tvs and and that's something that i want to sort of broadcast to people that you don't necessarily have to jump the gun right now you could just wait until like middle of next year end of next year because who knows what's going to come out you know for third party or first party we do know about like i said god of war end of next year um ratchet and clank uh we do know about um you know horizon forbidden west uh yeah i forgot about godfall i keep forgetting about godfall it says you're not interested in godfall yeah i keep forgetting about that game i literally keep forgetting about it i don't know why <laughs> i don't know why but that game looks impressive and everything like that also devil may cry is another game as well now i know a lot of you guys <clears throat> also got to put into uh thinking that black friday is what next month right so best buy is going to be putting out something early like give you like an ad of what they're going to you know be offering and things like that i think there was like some sort of 70 inch samsung tv that they're going to be having for like a crazy price i forgot how much uh they're going to be having it for so if you want to get a hdmi 2.1 tv i would just wait i would just wait honestly i would just wait because you know there are going to be more hdmi 2.1 tvs coming out next year you might get a better deal but like i said if you just absolutely cannot wait i will say just wait and see what the black friday uh prices are going to be or if you are a best buy um elite plus member you'll get my best buy pricing as well and that's slash um off uh a discount off of the uh, initial discount that everybody gets that are that are not a elite plus member because i'm an elite plus member so i get 45 days uh return on you know anything that i buy uh the ps5 comes with a hdmi yeah it should i don't know why <laughs> i don't know why sony will bundle the ps5 without an hdmi it should it should come with it yeah it should be right there in the box i mean it's a hdmi 2.1 system i think both the series x and ps5 should have um uh both hdmi 2.1 cables in the box so 
uh, you should be fine. You should be good to go from there. Uh, what, what's the camera doing? Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I was about to say what the heck is going on. But yeah, so back to the back to the task here. Uh, I think a lot of people should hold off till next year. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to get a TV, uh, just just wait for more titles that are going to be at a, a 120 FPS. I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. Unless you care about Call of Duty multiplayer, playing it at 120 FPS, that's going to be very smooth. It's going to be very satisfying if you do ask me. Uh, and also, if you want to play Dirt 5, which we're going to get off into the whole dirt five situation. So like I said, literally we're a month away. Some people still don't have uh, their, their pre-orders in for the system. Some people still don't have all the accessories that they do need. So everything is sort of like all over the place or whatever. So like I said before, greatness awaits. Um, this is a very, very good time and try, try keeping your eyes peeled this week because yeah, man, we're, 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 we're very close. We're waiting on Sony right now. Uh, there's a couple of things, right? Not just the UI that we're waiting on uh, from Sony, but we also need to find out the compatibility um, list of NVMEs <clears throat> that are going to be compatible with the PlayStation 5. Now, we do know that, uh, was it Western Digital? They came out and said, hey, look, we have you know, a, 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 a NVMe that is actually compatible with the PS5. But like I tell people, don't just jump the gun, not because they say it's compatible with PS5. I would just wait on that list. That's another thing that we're actually waiting on right now. Wait on the list before you jump the gun to go purchase an NVMe right now. There's a, a few companies, not just Western Digital. I'm hearing Seagate as well. Just hold on just a second and do not, I repeat, I put this out on Twitter. I'm not going to steer you guys in the wrong way. Do not purchase a off-brand NVMe for your PlayStation 5. I'm going to tell you this right now, because if it messes up your PS5, right, and it's not up to the specifications that Sony is saying that you need to have in order for it to work with the PS5, then you're going to brick your system, okay? And if you just can't flat out can't afford certain things, like I said, wait on that list. Don't just jump up and go purchase uh, the one from Western Digital. I'm not saying that it's not going to work, but just wait on the list first. Wait on the list. And then once Sony puts the list out, then you can decide from there. Because I'm pretty sure Sony is going to have their own PS5 branded SSD from, you know, from from a company or whatnot. Uh, they're going to have some sort of partnership going on. So like I said, just wait, just wait um, and, and wait for certifications first before you jump the gun. I'm just trying to give you guys um, the best advice possible because I see a lot of people already purchasing NVMEs. I'm like, bro, just chill. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to do that and mess yourself up. Now, um, MJ So Real says this channel is a vibe. My brother, keep grinding. Thank you so much, MJ So Real. Hit us, hit us up with that five dollars. I appreciate that. Says if pre-order, um, if I pre-order it now, then when will I get it um, on my hands? Please answer. What pre-order? What you talking about? The PS5. We're gonna talk about that, so don't worry. Alex, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Says Marlon, that's what the warranty is for. That is true. That is true. But like I said, just hold on, hold on to your horses. Don't just run out, go buy no SSD right now. Just hold on, wait for Sony's compatibility list and then make your decision from there. You're not in no hurry. Just make sure that whichever one you want, you're ready to purchase it because you know people are going to jump on it, right? You know, people are going to be jump on it, jumping on it a lot more when we get the certification list. Yeah, so I mean, just just chill, just hold on, just hold your horses and wait until the confirmation happens. All right, so don't panic. Everything is. I don't know why everybody. I never freeze. Don't freeze. It's okay. Now let's move along here. Let's <laughs> let's move along here, guys. We're gonna move on to our next topic here, and uh, this is quite interesting to say the least. Now this is a rumor. So I don't want people to sort of kind of get their hopes up on this because, you know, with rumors, it's just like anything else that is literally unconfirmed. <laughs> um, 
home. See you guys laughing. Wakanda forever. You guys know I rep Wakanda forever, man. Rip Chadwick. Love Chadwick, man. Uh, so let's uh, let's move along here, guys. Uh, we do have something that is actually brewing up here. And this is a rumor that we've been hearing uh, for a little while now. And this is this have to do with um, wave three pre-orders. And this is through Amazon. OK, so let's kind of show you guys something here very quickly. And so we're hearing something here now. This is a rumor, so I don't want to get you guys hopes up now. Apparently, the rumor is saying that Amazon Prime Day 2020 is going to be happening tomorrow through to the 14th, which is Wednesday. And apparently word on the street is, is that Amazon is going to have stock of PS5. So I hope this is true because a lot of people haven't gotten a PlayStation 5 pre-order and locked in yet. And this is coming from a YouTuber called Jake Randall in a video who said that the PS5 pre-order wave three stock will be the largest shipment yet. And so this is good. This is good because here's the thing. And here's why I say this, because a lot of people still don't have one. And if there's plenty to go around, everybody will at least stand a fair chance in getting one. Ben, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Really do appreciate that. Uh, so yes, Amazon Prime Day is on the 13th to the 14th. So tomorrow through um, Wednesday. And I'm going to tell you right now, if, if Amazon do in, indeed have stock of PS fives on Amazon prime, that it's going to be gone within a couple of minutes, even though that this is going to be their largest uh, shipment yet. And if you are just one of those ones that are pre-ordering the PS five late, you might not get your PS five until December or at the earliest next year, maybe January of next year just because of how things are going right now. Uh, Venom with the five says, got some questions about starting a streaming platform. Where can I message you one on one? Uh, you can message me out on Twitter, man. Thank you so much. If you have any concerns or anything like that, feel free to message me out on uh, Twitter if you don't mind. But yeah, like I said before, I think uh, that you guys should keep your eyes peeled whether or not this rumor is true. That's why I put a question mark on it for you guys. Keep your eyes peeled this week because not just the whole Amazon rumor, there's actually some other retailers right now overseas. We, we got Japan. That's apparently according to Roberto Serrano, he put up a post today regarding uh, Japan um, having pre-orders up and everything like that. And I think uh, game.uk, I think they had some, but it was already sold out. So this is the week, guys. Keep your eyes peeled. If you're trying to secure a PS5 or even the Series X, keep your eyes peeled. As you know, the warehouses right now is jam-packed with Series Xs as far. And I'm pretty sure it's the same thing with PS5. Uh, Night 50 with the $2 says, those numbers are a lie. I'm going to DM on Discord. Okay. Uh, says uh, Prime Day starts in the UK in two hours and 10 minutes. Well, keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. If that is the case, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, at 12 a.m. tonight, I'm telling you guys, be on it. Be on it as quickly as possible. You want to be on it as quickly as possible because you're going to be racing up against bots you're going to be racing up against a lot of people, right? So if you really want to get this and let me show you guys something real quickly here. Um, there's other retailers. So if you're in, I don't know if you're in the UK right now and you're trying to um, get one, I don't really know a lot of the, the, the retail stores over there in the UK. I know about game, you know, and everything like that. And that's a pretty good one. A lot of people sort of flex with them a lot and get their ps fives through game and there's a one called shop two and everything like that but yes it seems as though that game had pre-orders um today so let me show you guys uh really 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 quickly here so roberto serrano put up a post earlier i think maybe this morning oh no well almost to the afternoon and said pre-order now ps5 digital edition plus hd camera so apparently they had ps5 digital editions which is kind of rare because ps5 digital editions is just like 
sort of ancient right now at least here in the us i haven't really heard anybody recently got any ps5 digital editions but yeah this is literally gone i'm, I'm guessing they had sort of like a bundle so with the hd camera and everything and yeah one per customer it was gone before you say wow so this is definitely the week uh to look out for here and of course right here uh new ps5 pre-order schedule in local japanese stores and there you go so you, if you're in japan right now you need you need to be looking at this right now if you are in japan you need to be paying attention to this uh so it's from 10 15 um at eight o'clock so yeah on october 15th at eight o'clock uh to the 25th wow so there you guys go on that one and here's another one as well i think this is through the this the same but uh through an app and everything like that but yeah here it is so if you guys want to jump on this and you're in japan get on it get on i'm pretty sure you guys know what what store this is or whatnot so get on this as as soon as possible if you're in japan and everything like that so yeah man this is definitely uh the week if you're trying to get uh, a playstation 5 you know keep your eyes peeled at 12 o'clock tonight you know what i'm saying 12 a.m tonight keep your eyes peeled uh keep checking amazon because i'm telling you, if they do have a lot of stock it's gonna go quick it's gonna go quick you know what i'm saying it's definitely gonna go quick so let's move on here to my next topic and uh, we're gonna be talking about dirt five and I'm a, I have a lot to say about this game because, like I said, I've been a Dirt fan uh, for quite some time. Played it as far back as PC. Um, man, remember that game called Colin McRae? I think I think it was what was on PlayStation. I don't remember. Like it's been a long time, but man, Code Masters back in the day, bro huge fan huge fan of the rally games and everything like that i don't know if you guys remember colin mccray that was that was the game back in the day that was the the game most definitely thanks yeah no problem no problem uh so let's talk about dirt five and i'm gonna sh i'm very disappointed right now this is the first ever xbox series x gameplay that we have gotten okay and officially because everything else was just like trailers nothing really showing us anything from the box and so we're gonna show you guys here real quick now look at this take a look at this this is quality mode now you see how that look right you see like the raindrops on the top of the car and then this is the frame rate mode now let me show you exactly what you're looking at here so the game has three modes on the xbox series x compared to the image quality and the frame rate modes each run at dynamic 4k dynamic 4k people you know how dynamic 4k is while the 120 hertz mode settles for dynamic 1440p and this is what this is what on the series x the almighty series x this is going to be the same thing for ps5 because it's a third party game it's a third party game so this is dynamic 4k this is not even true 4k this is dynamic 4k okay this is what i am talking about right and you will think okay well because the series x is so powerful it should make games like this look better okay it's not the box it's the developer I'm going to tell you that right now. It's the developer. Now, look at the 120 hertz mode. Look at that. Look how crappy that looks. Look how washed. This looks like PS1. Look, you, you, okay. Do you see the crowd? You see the crowd in, with the frame rate mode, right? You see the crowd in the, in the quality mode, which some people are probably going to go with the quality mode because you have more details. You can see a little bit more. Look at the 120 hertz mode. You see nothing. Everything looks fuzzy the name you can't even see the name everything just looks fun this looks like ps1 like look at the texture on top of the car like this is no man no this is crazy bro this is freaking it just looks like i'm playing i don't know like a ps2 like an early ps2 game this is terrible this is i think they should have just delayed this game look at this look at the 120 hertz mode and a lot of people is saying that wait a minute 
you know, I want to play at 120, 20, 20 FPS. This is what it is. This is 120 Hertz mode. Now check this out. Look at this. Okay. This is another, um, uh, image quality. Look at this. Look at the 120 Hertz mode, how fuzzy the radiator looks. If you look, um, at the radiator up here where you see my mouse at, it looks terrible. Who wants, who wants, who wants to sacrifice resolution? You know what I'm saying? For 120 Hertz. Come on, man. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. This is great. Look at this. 120 Hertz mode. Look at this fuzzy. Look how fuzzy the truck is. And then you have nobody standing right here. Literally nobody. These are the facts people. Everybody is touting, oh, the Series X is so powerful. Oh, it's going it's, to, games are going to look so much better. This is a third party game. This game is supposed to shine. It's literally supposed to shine. Ain't the Series X supposed to outshine the competition because it has more powerful um, guts underneath the hood, right? Wasn't that a, a huge selling point? For the One X, a lot of people bought One X's this generation because they were like, well, the, the One X games look better than the PS4 Pro games. Really? Look at this. This is on Series X, people. The 120 hertz mode. Terrible. Fuzzy. Garbage. Pixelated. Very disappointing, man. Very disappointing. Look at this. Another look at look at this again. Once again. 120 hertz mode fuzzy fuzzy frame rate mode quality mode look at that so much better you can see far off into the distance everything on the 120 hertz mode looks very very pixelated now check this out so all three versions look incredible in motion helped by a temporal um anti-aliasing pass even the 1440p uh, frame used in 120 hertz mode holds up well in motion due to the uh, effective doubling of pixels produced by series x per second look man i'd rather go with frame rate mode or quality mode i i'm not i'm just not gonna do the 120 hertz mode i'm just gonna keep it real with you guys this is the type of stuff that i'm trying to tell look look how terrible this looks Look at the mount. Look at look at the hill. Look at the stone. No freaking detail. Oh my god. Wow. Like I said, this is going to look the same way on the PS5. It's going to look the same way. Why? Because it is the freaking developer. The same way. It ain't going to be no different. Cuz if this is the world most powerful console, and let me let me let me scratch that. This is the most powerful console right powerful x most powerful xbox right because microsoft marketed it different now and where is the 12.1 gpu performance oh well let me guess obviously it's not gonna really do much right now right we, we can't see the difference we literally cannot see the difference right now this is what i am talking about this is the type of stuff i'm talking about so people want to sit here and get hype over a console Look at this. You have some cross generation games that actually looks way better than Dirt 5. This generation on PS4 and Xbox One. That looks way better than Look at the hills. Look at the NPCs. Come on, man. This is this is ridiculous, bro. It says 120 hertz has no people in the image. Exactly. The people are missing in the image. It says Phil Spencer overhyped the Series X with that big leap from 2D to 3D talk. Where is that? Where is that? This is the first, first, first gameplay that we got for the for the system. First, you crazy think I'm going to be playing at 120 hertz? Not going to happen. Terrible. Freaking terrible, dude. Look at this crap once again. And we do have some gameplay here, which we're going to go over now. Look at this. Look how fuzzy it looks at 120 hertz. It's just not smooth. The anti-alias, it just, it just does not look smooth. The names look all fuzzy. Unless you want to mess up your eyes, go ahead and play at 120 hertz with Dirt 5 on your Series X or your PS5 because it's going to look the same way on PS5. This is crazy, man. Now, we do have some gameplay here that I wanted to share with you guys. And just look at the gameplay for yourself. 
I'm telling you guys right now, I am not impressed. Now, people in the image because it's, uh, oh my God, you need to stop. Dr. Stuff, you need to stop. Now, this is uh, 4K60. Now, this is 4K60. IGN was crazy enough to upload this at 1080p, but this is 4K60. This looks like a PS3 launch game. Like there's literally no attention to detail. Look at this thing, man. Nothing, nothing from this game screams next gen. Yes, I understand that this game is a cross generation game and it was built with the PS, uh, the PC, PS4 and Xbox one in mind, the lowest common denominator, right? But at the, but at the same time, my God, this is the this is a next gen version of the game and it looks terrible like where's the ray tracing do y'all see the ray tracing the lighting looks washed out i mean everything just looks very very pixelated i'm not impressed dang the door just came off look at this compared to something like gran turismo 7 right like that gets you hyped for next gen you know what i'm saying this is not this is not what's up man this is not what's up very flat just the animations i mean i don't know the driving mechanic just looks like i don't know this is on very ugh. this is terrible man this is this is terrible like i said before you had games what's it drive club that looks way better than this gran turismo sport looks way better than this forza horizon 4 looks way better than this Forza Motorsport 7 looks way better than this game. Come on, somebody. Am I, am I tripping here? Am I literally tripping? Seriously. All, Forza Horizon 3 looks better than this. How old is Forza Horizon 3? It looks way better than this. Gran Turismo Sport looks way better than this. Come on, man. Not impressed. Not impressed. And let me show you guys. You guys think I'm playing? Look at Ryan McCaffrey. Now, I know a lot of people said Ryan McCaffrey is sort of like an Xbox type dude and everything. I, and that, kudos to Ryan McCaffrey for keeping it real. He says, here comes the Xbox Series X game previews. I played Dirt 5 on Series X and found a lot to like in the gameplay department, though I was disappointed with the lack of a next gen wow factor, visually speaking. Yeah, I mean, you can't lie. You literally cannot lie. This man, Ryan, I think he favors Xbox, if I'm not mistaken. And he kept it real. He said the gameplay, I mean, the gameplay don't even look amazing to me in, in my eyes. It, it, it seems like a last generation type game. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like from two generations ago. Seriously. Dirt 4. Oh, it, come on, man. This is this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. Uh, the original dirt rally looks better bro i'm telling you it's sad it says where is the 4k ray tracing uh lotion it it's needed back yeah the 4k ray tracing lotion is not there go get that 4k ray tracing 4k ray tracing merch down in the description down below bro where is where is that 4k where is that 4k and i saw a meme with it was with craig I don't know i don't know where that meme is but there was some sort of meme with craig like with his head out and everything like the memes are just literally crazy right now like i i just i even saw jeff grubb like jeff grubb okay this is a tweet that i put out today <laughs> this was a tweet that i put out today right and jeff grubb was actually shots to jeff grubb i put out the tweet and look at this it was dropping below um 120 fps which like i said before that's expected because most cards that can do 4k 120 right is gonna drop you know what i'm saying in some instances it's gonna drop let alone 4k 60 but bro look at this <sighs> not impressed dude i'm not impressed i'm not impressed i'm 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 really not impressed all right so yeah i rest my case with dirt five i'm gonna skip that I am definitely not going to purchase uh, Dirt 5. I'm going to hold off on that. Save my money because, yeah, bro, this is this. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to move on right now. And we're going to move on to something that is a bit interesting here, to say the least. So let's talk about this Series X, man. So Xbox Series X, 
uh, retail units in warehouse. And of course, we have an unboxing uh, video of someone unboxing the Series X very, very, very early here. So let's talk about it. Can you guys hit that like button? Definitely does help out the stream. Hit that like button. Can we crank six or 700 likes? I know we could do it, guys. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Give the show a thumbs up if you haven't already. Now we're going to move on to our next topic here. And we're going to talk about the Series X. So as you guys can see right now, we got warehouse full of Xbox Series X's right now. So everybody should be able to get one, right? I'm pretty sure all of these Series X's are already accounted for as we speak. That's a lot of Xbox Series X's. Look at look at all these pallets. Y'all see these pallets, bruh? This is this is a lot. This is definitely a lot right now. Um, of course, I'm going to go down here and you can see like a better up close um, picture of the Xbox Series X. The, the box is huge. First of all, I mean, the warehouse is jam packed right now, full of Series X's ready to ship out to retailers and everything. I'm pretty sure all these Series X's are accounted for. Who knows? They might have some extra ones um ready to go but the box is very huge of course they got the creme de la creme master chief of course he's the face of xbox right power your dreams game pass all that different advertising because they gotta you know advertise you know game pass and everything like that can't really see everything else but yeah whoever took this picture can literally just pick it up L literally just pick it up in their hands and they're right next to it so I, I think it's pretty cool to um see these um really really uh cool images of the systems, especially if you work in the warehouse and everything like that. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Crazy, right? Boxes are very huge. Now, here is something that's even more interesting. So Tom Warren out on Twitter posted a tweet saying that somebody unboxed the Xbox Series X retail unit already. I'm not even going to play the full video because people are funny with stuff like this. So I ain't even going to play it, but you guys get the idea. Um, the guy apparently have the Xbox Series X. He opens it up. Man, that thing is so boxy, though. That, that thing looked like a piece of wood, like a piece of lumber that you take in, <laughs> that you just take it out. Man, that thing is so boxy and squarish. Uh, but yeah, somebody already have access to the Xbox Series X as we speak right now. They already unboxed it. Seemed like it's like a, a foreign country. The guy, I think he was speaking like spanish or something like that but man that system looks very boxy and chunky if i do say so myself like it just looks so squarish though like i don't know dang that that thing looked like a big plaque of wood or something like that coming out the box and everything like that but yeah somebody got their hands on it and everything so shout out to tom warren for actually uh posting that up on twitter and everything like that i'm pretty sure just type tom warren in and go click on that link and go watch the full video for yourself yeah it looks like a toolbox <laughs> it looks like a like a husky toolbox i i bruh it definitely looks like a husky toolbox if i do say so myself but definitely a lot of series x's um out there in the wild and everything like that so i think a lot of people are you know kind of get their hopes up thinking that they might be able to get one who knows who knows on launch day it's gonna be crazy <clears throat> watch bright memory gameplay on series x he says i'm not no i'm not hating i'm not hating it does look like a toolbox like just taking it out just taking it out but bro let me tell you something right now for a lot of people they're saying that the ps5 is ugly they're saying that the the series x is ugly they're saying that both consoles are ugly so come on bro let's keep it real the thing is a rocket launcher come on man let's keep it real bro let's keep it real right they just like how they're making fun of the ps5 and say that it looks like a freaking router it looks like a spaceship it look i don't give a dog on how these two systems look as long as they stay cool while I'm playing it, that's all that freaking matters at the end of the freaking day. Okay? I don't give it, I gotta give a dog on if it looks like a turd. As long as it runs good, that's all that matters to me at the end of the day. Even if it looks like this water bottle, as long as it runs the game smooth, it doesn't overheat or give me any issues, I can care less if it looks like a, 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 a toolbox from Husky or something like that. That's all I'm saying. Now, move on. Let's move on to our next topic. 
let's move on to our next topic here, guys. We're going to be talking about the PS5 is more than 80% of next generation uh, pre-orders here. And this is very interesting to say the least because like I said before, no surprise there to me. Now we did have a survey that came out, I believe from 511 uh, different candidate uh, that was, you know, I think it was 70, yeah, 72% that actually pre-ordered the PS5 over the Series X. So definitely no surprise there. And I think a lot of people can agree. So IGN, literally put this out and so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh real quickly here on what's going on with that situation so i Jim put out a tweet and says are you one of many who have pre-ordered the ps5 there you go ps5 is more than 80 percent of next gen pre-orders i'm not shocked i'm not shocked this 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 shouldn't be a shocker to anybody and it will continue to go up as much as possible it will definitely continue to go up so you know this is this is one of those things where i tell people all the time like it comes down to the games it's not about how the console looks or whatnot it's about the games and this is the reason why pre-orders are going to continue to dominate when it comes to the PlayStation 5 because yes, Microsoft has acquired Bethesda. That's going to take a little bit of time for all of that to actually roll out. Most of the games in the roadmap for Series X is going to be for another two to three, maybe four years down the line. Hellblade 2 ain't coming out next year. Fable ain't coming out next year. State of Decay 3 ain't coming out next year. We don't know when the next Forza game is is coming out. So, and then I think Starfield, they're saying that might be one of the first, you know, sort of exclusive Bethesda acquisition type deal game that's supposed to be coming out next year. We still don't have concrete information um, on that and everything like that. So we still have to wait. So yeah, I'm not surprised. 80% of next gen pre-orders goes to PS5. And that's because people know what they're getting with the PlayStation 5. They know they can look forward to demon, not just the launch titles, but what's ahead. The roadmap, I mean, it's 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 insane considering that Sony have high hopes for the PlayStation 5. I think by March of next year, they want to sell at least 7.5 uh, million units, which that's going to definitely push out ahead of what the PS4 did and everything like that. Uh, my camera is blurry, you said. I don't know why it's blurry. Should be fine. Should be fine. All right. So we're going to move along here guys and this is something that is quite interesting here so we're going to be talking about cyberpunk 2077 promotes ps5 and xbox series x versions now this is interesting because this is a game that i really want to play i can't wait to actually play this game for myself and i know some people are not necessarily hyped for cyberpunk but um yeah you'll be surprised but here's the more like bizarre thing that's actually going down it says that cyberpunk 2077 uh promotes great ps5 support at launch wow so this is good this is really really good this is what i want to hear i and of course this is the same thing uh for the xbox series x it says if you look at this right here i'm going to click on this poster here and it will show you uh, it says Xbox, it says plays great also on Xbox Series X and PS5. So we will see. We will definitely see, uh, you know, some of the benefits here uh, with this game. I know a lot of people are excited to play Cyberpunk. A lot of people are saying that, you know, this is day one for them and everything. But they're saying, hey, they're promoting plays great on PlayStation 5. Now, uh, Microsoft stopped forcing 120 FPS or some uh game may look worse bro i'm telling you man P for people who are sitting here thinking that they're going to be getting 4k 120 fps with ray tracing keep on dreaming keep on dreaming heck if the 3080 can't do 4k now before i put my hand in my hand and my foot in my mouth how many of you guys currently right now have a 3080 card have you pushed it to 4k 120 fps I bet you that card struggles to do 4K at 120 FPS. I know 4K 60 is no problem on that card, but what about 4K 120 FPS on a 3080 card? Can it do it? 
can it do 4k at 120 fps with ray tracing nope it can't do it it can't do it so if that card is seven hundred dollars okay the msrp i'm just trying to get you guys to think realistically here if that card is seven hundred dollars what makes you think that a five hundred dollar box is going to give you 4k 120 fps with ray trace and lotion not gonna happen not gonna happen you know what i'm saying not gonna not gonna happen not gonna happen so you can you could just hang that up right now um hey who is timing out hey playstation don't time out um suffolk okay he's just talking he's not really saying anything out of the ordinary don't don't time him out playstation disciple he's just saying to check a pick on twitter don't time him out don't time out people on this they're spamming if they're spamming time them out okay or if they're cussing time them out but if they're just regularly talking don't don't time them out mark thank you so much for the subscription appreciate that so like i said before <clears throat> i'm gonna say this again and i'm not gonna repeat myself why are you guys expecting these boxes to do 8k gaming okay why are you expecting these boxes to do 4k at 120 fps with ray tracing when a 700 card msrp 700 for a 3080 cannot do that can't do it so bring oh he was spamming okay 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 i understand that but if they just talk in regularly playstation you know just yeah just let him talk but if he's keep on repeating himself over and over then you know you could time them out but just don't ban them um now let me see how many of you guys are crazy enough to think that you're going to do 8k gaming on your series x go ahead go ahead put it in put it in the chat go ahead how many of you guys thought that you could do 8k gaming on your series x because it's 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 uh what 30 percent or 20 percent more powerful than the ps5 you're insane if you think Bernardo, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome aboard. You are insane. Ab, thank you so much for that. You are insane. If you thought that you was going to do 8K gaming on that box for $500. No. If a 3080 cannot do 4K at 120 FPS with ray tracing, not going to happen. Just be real with yourselves. No way it's that going to happen. So you guys need to keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? And lower your expectations. Even Phil Spencer said that AK gaming is not going to be a thing for the foreseeable future for at least another five years. So what makes you think that you're going to be getting that type of performance? It's not going to work. It's not going to happen. So like I said, you're going to get 8K textures. Okay. Look at that Unreal Engine 5 demo that we saw, right? 8k textures that video was streamed at what 1440p or something that video was like a 1440p video but it had 8k textures to show off what you know the next unreal engine is going to be able to do so for people who are thinking that they're going to get native 8k not going to happen look at dirt 5 dirt 5 is struggling dynamic 4k not even true 4k it's dynamic 120 hertz mode looks terrible washed out not gonna happen now you you can enjoy playing your tetris at 120 fps with no compromising you can do yeah see i think series x is getting tetris at launch enjoy your tetris some of y'all gonna be buying tvs maybe you gonna buy tv a uh, tv for tetris get your tetris ready i think that's 4k at 100 see games like that that's less taxing on the cpu and the gpu yeah go ahead knock yourself out get your tetris going you see what i'm saying get your get your tetris going get your ray tracing going on the blocks now the the blocks for the tetris blocks are going to have ray tracing lotion on them so there you go now you got 4k uh, 120 fps with ray tracing on some blocks going down like this is the 1980s or something come on man Y'all need to wake up. Uh, so Microsoft still uh, showing no next-gen gameplay on Series X. Nope. 
Dirt 5 is all we got. Dirt 5 is all we got. We haven't gotten anything yet. Dirt 5 is all we got. I know some people are going to say, oh, oh, Marlon, uh, the medium. Man, we still haven't gotten everything for the medium yet. All the new people that are subscribing, appreciate the subscription and everything. Make sure you hit that notification bell on all. We never miss out on everything that we got going on here. Man, you guys are laughing. You think I'm playing. You're going to, you are, people are bright. The whole point of what I'm saying is this. People are bragging about, what are they bragging about? 12.1 of GPU power, right? That's what they're bragging of. They're bragging about floating points. But look at Dirt 5. It's going to look the same way on PS5. This is the machine that's supposed to show you the difference between the PS5 and itself. And if Dirt 5 looks like garbage, right? And that is a cross-generation game, then what's the point in you buying that system in the first place? If you really can't see the difference, the third-party game should look bad unless it looks worse on PS5. But I guarantee it's going to look the same on the PS5. And then Yakuza, I think they, they just dropped gameplay on that as well. So come on, man. Come on, guys. That's what I said. It's not good to be a fanboy. It's good to be neutral. It's good to be a gamer because a gamer plays everything. Like I said, I'm skipping Dirt 5. I'm just not impressed with the way how the game play is. I don't even necessarily even care so much about the resolution or the FPS. It's just the gameplay. Gameplay is more important to me more than anything else. And if the gameplay is trash, then you can throw the, 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 the frame rate and the resolution in the garbage bin as well, because the gameplay is garbage. It does not look like a modernized game. Like that's on a next gen console on next gen platform. It just, it just don't look good. It looked like something that came out like 10 years ago. You know what I'm saying? This game looks like pre-alpha, like it's not even ready to be shipped yet. You know what I'm saying? The terrain looks washed out. Come on, man. Y'all need to open up your eyes, bro. And realize, and you're going to see games, and I can't wait. You're going to see games that are going to blow you away on Series X. Once developers start like really kicking into high gear and developing games directly for that box, we will see. State of the K3. Can't wait to see that. Hellblade 2, can't wait to see that. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Fable, can't wait to see that. The next four is a game. I want to see how that stacks up. You know what? That's going to be crazy to see. How that's going to stack up against Gran Turismo 7. Hmm. And I'm telling you this right now. Look, because what is Microsoft visually impressive game? right with it that they use to showcase the power of their their systems forza right if if i'm not if i'm not mistaken call me out on this one listen to me forza right so i'm just saying this for all the people that's been bragging and boasting about t-flops and power and all of this type of stuff right if Forza Horizon or the next Forza game does not look better than Gran Turismo. You have no, you, you have no, nothing to talk about. We, this is not even up for discussion. That whole T-flop talk should be completely dead as of right now, but people are still boasting that, oh, this is more, this is the more powerful box. But I'm telling you right now, if the first party Series X games, once they start to roll out, don't look better than the PS5 first party games, we got a problem. We got a major problem because you have games running on PS4 Pro that looks way better than 1X games. Heck, they even look better than some of the stuff that I've seen so far for next gen. Come on, the most visually impressive game that I've that I've seen this gen coming up is Demon Souls. Demon Souls looks way better than Miles Morales, my opinion that's the best looking game right now that's what's getting me excited for next generation that's what's getting me hype demons and that's a remake that's not even a game that's actually built from the ground up for the like like you know brand new game that's built from the ground up for ps this is a remake that was built from the ground up on ps5 but bro a remake is getting me excited that's a shame
That's a shame. Demon Souls looks way better. You can't, nobody can argue. Check your eyes. Are you blind? Are you blind? And, and I know some of you guys are going to say, oh, well, it's a 1440p. Who cares if it's 1440p? Look at the game. It doesn't matter what the resolution is going to be. The game is going to have two modes. It doesn't matter. Look, look at that. Look at the game. Play that game at 4K 60 on, on your monitor or whatever, your 4K TV. Look at it. You're blind or something? Check your eyes. Because that looks better than anything that's coming out at launch for both these systems. It looks better than the medium, even though the medium is coming to PS5. Okay. You want me to keep going? It looks better than Tetris. Y'all need to stop, man. Seriously. Demon Souls is a game that came out years ago on PS3. And it's a game that I think a lot of people are going to pick up on the PS5. Why? Because it really shows you that, look, bro, next gen is here. I was blown away. When I first saw Demon Souls, I was literally blown away. I was like, wow, this is it. This is next gen. This is it. We're here. Miles Morales looks good, but no no not not even close to demon souls not even close y'all 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 need to stop tripping <laughs> talking about bug snacks <laughs> y'all need to stop tripping okay and pay attention now godfall as well godfall looks good but demon souls looks better than godfall in my opinion i keep forgetting about godfall I don't know. I don't know why I keep forgetting about Godfall. Maybe it's just not a game that I'm really truly excited about. I'm still going to pick it up. But Demon Souls looks better than Godfall. Demon Souls looks better than Miles Morales. Demon Souls looks better than Destruction All Stars. Demon Souls looks better than Sackboy. Demon Souls looks better than Dirt 5. Demon Souls looks better than Tetris. Demon Souls looks better than The Medium. Do I need to keep going? Come on, man give me something give me something that is gonna make me feel like yeah bruh go ahead and go ahead and vote with your wallet go ahead and spend your money come on man y'all some of y'all some of y'all sleeping some of y'all capping for these companies i'm telling you right now i ain't capping for nobody because ain't nobody putting no money in my pocket so i ain't capping for nobody that's why i said it's not good to be a fanboy be neutral, be a gamer. None of these companies are putting money in your pocket for these pieces of plastic. So therefore, you need to vote with your wallet. You need, you, you're spending $70. You need to have some sort of standard, man. Uphold some sort of standard. It looks way better than Watch Dogs Legion too. Come on, man. Y'all need to, some of y'all need to wake up and realize what the heck going on. Uh, it says, yeah, watch Bright Memory gameplay. It looks like it's the best game we have seen on the Xbox. Yeah, yeah, Bright Memory. And Bright Memory is what, what, made by one person when we first, but that's on PC though. That's on PC. That's what I'm talking about. Alana had um, crashes on her unit. Is Microsoft ready for November? Oh, wow. Ooh. Well, I don't know, even know what to say, man. Look, look, maybe her system is buggy. I'm just trying to give Microsoft the benefit of the doubt. Like I said, it is not good. Can a bridge of spirits? Yeah, that's not even coming out. It's not good right now. It's not good to buy a next generation system at launch because you're going to get buggy systems. Not, not all of them, but look, look, look what happened with the 360 launch. Look what happened with the Xbox one. PS4 is not so much. It just kind of all the pins. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of all the pins because you, you're going to have some buggy units here and there. But I don't know, man. How is it that I sound like a fanboy? What? How am I a fanboy? <laughs> how is it that I'm a fanboy? Fanboy of what? Because I'm speaking the truth? What is on the Series X right now that screams, I need to take my money and go get this system right now? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me, how is it that I'm a fanboy? Because I said Demon Souls looks better than anything that's coming out this generation at launch. Come on, man. Look here. You can say whatever. Look at your hat. 
That is the dumbest thing. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is an Xbox hat right here. Are you kidding? Bro, this, this man said, look at your hat. That is the dumbest thing that you can say. Look, I got an Xbox. I got an original Xbox. I got a 360. I got every freaking Xbox known to man. Are you insane? Are you stupid or dumb? Which one? Are you dumb or stupid? Which one? Get out of here, man. Don't get me started. Don't don't piss me off and get me started. I got Game Pass. I got Xbox merch in my closet. Look, if you're gonna tell if you're gonna tell me that I'm a fanboy because I'm wearing a, a set hat, you are insane. You need to go get your brain cells looked at. Okay? I tell y'all, y'all need to stop being stupid coming in here smoking that crack pipe and coming in here wasting my time don't come in here with that talking about i'm a fanboy i speak the facts i tell you the truth like it is you don't like it carry your carry your behind carry your behind through the door i ain't playing with you you know what i'm saying don't sit here and talk about oh you a fanboy oh, 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 oh. i'm speaking the facts what is what is what is hyping me up to buy the series x at launch what can I do on my Series X that I can't do on my One X right now? Dirt 5 look like trash. Okay, I can play Dirt 5 on my One X and be happy with that. What is what is telling me to go buy a Series X right now? At least Demon Souls is calling my name on the PS5. Come on, man. Miles Morales is calling my name. Godfall is calling my name. Right? It's not a it's not being a fanboy. It's the facts is what's there. Y'all, some of y'all need to lay off, lay off the crack pipe, lay off of it. It ain't good. Say no to drugs. Now, let me move on to the next topic because some of y'all piss me off. Don't, don't look, don't, don't get me riled up. I'm the wrong person to piss off. Don't get me pissed off because look here, you will see a whole different side of me. Don't piss me off. Tom, by you a fanboy. <laughs> look, don't let me say what I want to say. Okay. I'm trying to keep the peace. But some of y'all a brain, some of y'all brains don't go all the way to the top. Okay. Some of y'all don't like hearing the truth. Some of y'all want to subscribe to people who is going to lie to you, right? And tell you, yeah, yeah, go ahead and buy this system. What the heck are you gonna play? What are, what are you gonna play? What are you going? Oh, oh, game game pass? Oh, yeah, game pass is great. I'm already enjoying game pass on my PC right now. On my 3080. I'm already enjoying that right now. I'm already enjoying Game Pass on my One X. Come on, man. Stop. Stop. Be a gamer. Stop being a fanboy. Stop. What did I play the most this generation? My PS4. There were some good games on the Xbox One. Yes, I played Gears 5. Okay. I played Forza Horizon 3. I played Forza Horizon 4. I played Crackdown. It was trash. Stop, man. Stop, stop, stop. It's not good. It's not good. Okay? It's not. Played a lot of games on my Xbox. Wasn't blown away. Stop it. Now, we're going to move on here to the next topic. We're going to talk about Rockstar buys Crackdown 2 developer. Hmm. Interesting, right? <laughs> Interesting. And this is this is quite the honor here because, you know, like I said, a lot of studios are being bought up this year. And, I, you know, the biggest one is obviously the whole Bethesda shenanigans. Uh, that's actually getting a bunch of people to buy Series X's and everything like that. But, hey, that's a good thing because I got a Series X coming in, too. Now, check this out. So Rockstar buys Crackdown 2 developer Ruffian Games rebrands to rockstar dundee so there you go they cop them 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 now the studio is home to developers who have worked on both manhunt and grand of auto series so this is good man imagine if they make a new manhunt game thank you all for subscribing all the new people for subscribing make sure you hit that notification bell on all to a never miss out on what we got going on now let me tell you something right now crack down three trash i don't care what nobody tr man horrible crackdown 3 was horrible <laughs> literally for a game that's been in development for years yeah 
Rockstar did a great thing by picking up the, these Crackdown 2 devs. They did a great thing. To, bro, that manhunt. <laughs> that <Ooh>. manhunt. <laughs> now, that's what gets you hype. That's what gets you excited. That manhunt. Man, hopefully, I don't even know if we're going to get a manhunt. Imagine, imagine, imagine a new manhunt game running, literally running on PS5. <sighs> that would be insane. <laughs> I think that game would get banned. I think it would get banned, but hey, uh, it's all good, man. I said the creators of Crackdown literally tell people to stop playing. Hey, man, look, people don't like hearing the truth. It says no no box mer uh branded merch here i don't understand what that what that means uh i don't want to, but you know what everybody wants to be mad at me you know you can't make everybody happy guys let me tell you this right now <laughs> when i made that video calling microsoft out about halo infinite looking like three generations ago type game guess what i had somebody from microsoft followed me out on twitter and apologized and said that hey we're sorry that the game didn't turn out to your liking you know what i'm saying we're so sorry about that i'm not fixing to sit here and fluff up anything if microsoft is doing good i'm gonna praise them i've always been praising microsoft i've been saying that they're pro consumer they've been doing a lot of really cool things they show off the box they send the box out to a lot of influencers right they, they, they were more transparent about the system than Sony is right currently right now and still is. I give credit where credit's due. They went out on the limb to acquire Bethesda, even though some people don't like Bethesda games. I give credit where credit's due, right? They're, they're, they're showing more pro-consumership than Sony. Yeah, I get that. But at the same time, it's like, bro, what where's the games right now we need we, we need the games we don't have anything right we don't even have gameplay the system is coming out under a month and we still don't have gameplay we still don't have gameplay both systems are going to be great make no mistake about that i'm getting both at launch i got both of them pre-ordered heck i even pre-ordered the s i got the s coming in as well i'm going to be picking up the s and I, I might have the X on launch day, depending on when Best Buy decides they're going to ship it out. And I will have it here launch day, unboxing it for you guys, hooking it up so you guys can see what's going on. So come on, man. You guys got to realize what's going on right now. Who Who is really not showing and talking more about their system? Sony. Sony slowly starting to trickle out more information. And I get on Sony about that. Sony is acting like a turtle this generation. Seriously. You know what I'm saying? The, the UI, we still haven't seen the UI. We just got bits and pieces of information about backwards compatibility, right? We still, look how long they, they took, both companies took because they want to play chicken when it comes to the price. Come on, man. Yo, listen to me, man. I call Sony out all the time. When Sony is doing something wrong, when they're saying something wrong, I call them out. Like with the whole ps5 and ps4 upgrade uh your saves can't carry over but on the xbox one it can carry over. i mean the series x between the series x and the xbox one saves can carry over i praise them i give them credit where credit's due you see what i'm saying so come on man you have to be a gamer you have to see both sides of the freaking fence look at nintendo i call nintendo out all the time nintendo get your act right with your online your online is trash that's why i stopped playing my switch because there's really no social features on the switch where you can actually do a private chat, you know, add friends, you know, kind of have a party chat, just like the, you know, the Xbox one or the PS4, or even these newer systems, there's no social life on the switch. I stopped playing my switch. You see what I'm saying? Because I just law, I just, I'm, I'm just sick and tired of waiting on them to get the online better. You have friends on your list, but you can't even talk to them. You got to download a phone app. You got to download a phone app just to talk to them. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I call them out all the time. I used to be a brand ambassador for Nintendo. I used to get their games all the freaking time. Then they changed up everything. You see what I'm saying? So, like I said before, I, I'm very critical of these companies when I need to be. When, when it's time for praising, I'll praise each company and say, yo, Microsoft, great job. Sony, you're doing a great job. I'm going to keep it real. Switch has been sitting there for I don't know how long. It just kind of lost interest in the Switch right now. 
there's really not a lot of games that really appeals to me right now on the switch so my main focus is on playstation and xbox my switch is right there now if nintendo drops a game that i care about i will be back on my switch keeping it real with you guys man my 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 xbox one was was what gathering dust for the longest time until gears 5 came out and i blew the dust off of it and start playing again i'm gonna keep it real with y'all man seriously i don't like lying to you guys i'm gonna keep it real with y'all all right so enough with me talking about that let's talk about the xbox controller lawsuit that's actually um brewing up right now and i think this is something that is quite interesting to say the least because we've seen a lot of lawsuits brewing up especially with nintendo with the joy-con drift problem which we're going to talk about um you know their whole price drop uh, situation in japan but i want to talk about the xbox controller lawsuit right now and yeah this is not good any lawsuit right now is definitely not good right now so lawsuit continues to pursue action over drifting xbox controllers amended loss i'm um, i'm sorry class action um adds additional uh situation here that's actually happening with the controller and i'm just gonna skip all of that blobbing around and show you guys the real meat and potatoes so it's because of these grease right here that's like seeping around the padding right here uh for the controller so you can see the input stick right here so this is the actual problem right now and causing the controller to actually drift and hence why they are you know basically doing this this lawsuit right now it says the class action claims that the drifting issue is caused by a controller defect related to the uh pointed point potentometer if i'm saying that correctly uh within the joystick component the mecha the mechanism that translate the physical movement of the uh, thumbstick into movement within the software so there you guys go can't even speak today but there you guys go on that front this is the problem right here uh so apparently grease is seeping through and actually messing out messing up um the uh the controller and causing it to drift and of course they're trying to uh take it up a notch so yeah and i think they're throwing in the elite 2 controller as well the uh, the elite series 2 as well so yeah this is definitely not good and this was filed on october the 2nd so yeah this is actually happening right now the updated class action specifically adds uh, elite series one and two controllers now that's kind of crazy because these are the more expensive premium controllers and you would think that yeah this wouldn't be happening or anything like that but wow man grease seeping out through uh the, the the pattern there and causing a lot of drifting issues and everything like that so let's hope let's hope that microsoft uh finds a way to actually uh sort this out here because like i said nintendo you know they were getting hammered with the whole joy con drift i think somebody had won a case uh behind that whole joy con drift and then now it's microsoft you know with the elite controller how much is it for elite 2 controller how, uh, let me let me see how much can somebody tell me how much is it for elite uh two controller and elite one i think it's like almost two hundred dollars for that controller so oh fake news okay keep saying it's fake <laughs> some of y'all are saying how much is it for 180 180 right let me see uh, it, it's 180 for the elite two 180 dollars and the freaking controller is drifting I'm not saying anything is perfect but at the same time if i'm gonna spend 180 dollars on a controller it better not freaking drift that's why they're sitting here you know planning this freaking lawsuit filing this lawsuit against microsoft because they're like man what the heck why is it freaking drifting now i don't know if they try to go through xbox support and see if they can sort of have them honor the warranty or what have you but man this is crazy uh renard lewis with the two dollars says xbox one dropped with rise and never followed up yeah rise was amazing but i'm not fixing to sit here and spend literally 180 dollars and i think the elite one controller the elite one came out what was it last year or a year before that and yeah that controller i think is like what 150 or 130 or something like that a lot of money a lot of money 
it says Marlon refresh that um, Eurogamer article. Uh, close overlay. Why is it? Did they add something different? Why is it? I don't know if they added something different. Thank you so much. Big heck money. Appreciate the love and the support says not paying that for a controller. I understand most definitely. Uh, let's see here. People be hating on you, Marlon, for no, it's all good, man. I love everybody. Even though they don't like me, I love them. You know, for people who don't like me, I love them back. You know, it's all love, man. Um, Damien with the five says, um, hi, Marlon, just to let you know that Best Buy right now, they have the camera headset and bundle pack right now on, on Best Buy. Thank you so much for that. Um, but yeah, man, people don't like me. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? I wanted the nicest person. People don't understand. This is my job. And if you don't have a thick skin, then you can't do YouTube for a living. You can't, you can't do YouTube full time. If you, you know, if you're going to get bent up out of shit, cause people are going to say whatever they're going to say, but I don't care, man. It's all good. You know, it's all good. Love everybody though. <clears throat> Regardless if they don't love me, it's all good. Now let's see if I can find, uh, let me see here. The bundle. If you could send me a link to it, then that would be good. I'm actually, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Cause I know some people wanted the headset. So it's all good, man. And be, oh, wait. Oh, it says unavailable. Are you kidding me? It says unavailable. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. If you guys want the Pulse 3D headset, how many of you guys want the Pulse 3D headset? The, would it, wait, it let me add it. It let me add it. Whoa. Okay. How many of you guys want the Pulse 3D headset right now? Go ahead and get on it. Get on it right now. Get on it right now. I see a lot of, a lot of people have been asking me about this headset. Get on it. It's available. It's available. It's available. Get on it now. It let me add it to the cart. If you want the camera, get on it now. Uh, there is a bundle right now. Like he said, um, there is a bundle guys. There is a bundle. Get on it for two fifty nine. You could do the bundle. Oh wait, the bundle is sold out. Good God almighty. Well, forget that. Go back, get that headset guys. Literally go get that headset right now. Because this headset, I was telling people to get it at launch. I was telling them, I was telling them at the launch of the pre-orders and everything, get this headset because um, you're going to get that really good 3D sound. Of course, they're going to make like third party headsets that's going to give you that 3D sound and everything like that. But get the Sony brand one. You can't go. It's sold out. Oh, wow. Wow. Already? It says, is that Best Buy I need to? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Best Buy. It's Best Buy right here. People are saying that it's sold out. I was able to add it to my cart. Oh, wait, is it gone? Oh, oh, you guys just broke Best Buy. You guys, holy freaking cow. You guys just broke Best Buy. It was just in stock. It was just in stock. You guys broke. How many of you guys are in the stream right now? Can I get? Can y'all tell me how many of you guys are in the stream? You guys literally broke Best Buy. What in the world? Y'all literally broke Best Bro. They just had some in stock, bro. We had we have 1800 people in here. You guys broke Best Buy. Oh my god. Have mercy. They just had stock. They literally just had stock. What in the freaking world? Ah, oh, it's gone now. How many of you guys was able to get it? It's gone now. It's gone now. Jesus, man. I was trying to, hey, appreciate that subscriber that me messaged me about that. They do have the camera. Um, they, they have the camera though, which I know some people don't really care for the camera as much, but I know the headset is what people really, really wanted. And of course they still ain't got no freaking dog on PS5s. Uh, I know y'all, I know some of y'all want that PS5, but, um, they, they they still don't have no ps5s i know that's what people said didn't bag it you got it okay i think some people said they got it and everything but um yeah they still don't have no ps5s man i don't even think best buy even had stock since the last last time they had stock was was probably like about a week or two ago since best buy had stock of the ps5 and everything like that like i mean they they've been unavailable bruh Ah, wow, man. 
It says, Marlon, are you going to stream Miles Morales? Heck yeah, I'm going to stream Miles Morales for you guys. Are you insane? You already know I'm going to stream that for you guys and Demon Souls. Now, I'm going to let you guys know because of my connection, I ain't going to be able to do no 4K. Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to do no 1440p. So it might be 720p 60 that I'm probably going to be able to stream at. Now, if I do a video, it, it's probably going to be, I can probably do 4K 60 on the video, but streaming because my internet right now in my area is like bottlenecking at like 720p 60, which is kind of crazy. And I can't get faster internet until when we move. So I'm just going to tell you, I'm just going to tell you that right now. I ain't going to be able to stream at no 1440p 60. I'm just going to tell you all that. So if y'all, if y'all want that, if y'all, if y'all want me to stream PS5 games, then that's what you're going to get. It says, uh, you have a 4k capture card. Yes, I have a 4k capture card so I can capture, you know, the gameplay and then I can post it up on the channel, but you guys want me to go live. So I don't know. Some of you guys don't care. Some of y'all don't, don't care. <clears throat> uh, it says 1080p or seven. It's going to be 720p 60. So I'm just going to tell you that right now. Uh, Ant Online is supposed to do their second wave tomorrow at 2 p Oh, yes. Ant Online, too. That's what I was hearing. Um, Ant Online. So it says 60 FPS is all we need. Yes, it's going to be. So let me see how many of you guys right now want me to stream the PS5 day one. And you don't mind me doing 720p 60 FPS. Let me see in the chat right now. Let me see in the chat right now. Let me know if you don't care, you don't mind me streaming at 720p 60 when the PS5 comes out as long as I'm live. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 He says, I'm totally okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Cool. 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 Because that's all I can do or else I ain't going to be able to stream nothing. So you guys say you don't mind. So that's fine. So we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. It's just until I move and we get better internet. Once I get better internet, once we move, then you guys will get 1440p and 1080p, 60 and everything. It's just because of my internet situation out here in Virginia. We don't necessarily have files. It's in parts of Virginia Beach, but it's not like, you know, rampant everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's my problem right now. So once we move, I got you guys covered. Don't worry but i can record gameplay at 4k up to 30 on my capture card right now so don't worry about that uh trail says marlin um i do prefer xbox but no reason to get it since games will be on pc exactly that's what i was trying to say earlier so looking forward to playing with you and the the ps players when i get my ps5 let's go man and and the sponsors and everything um yeah man let's go let's go it's going to be cool. It says with the lotion, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. With the lotion. You already know. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see how many of you guys want me to stream the Xbox. Y'all want me to stream the Series S for you guys too? Like, do you guys want me to do a stream showing off the Series S? Showing off the, um, y'all want me to do unboxings of the Series X? Y'all want me to do unboxings of the S? Let me know. Let me know. Because I'm getting both. I'm getting both. So let me know. Uh, <laughs> so y'all say no. <laughs> he says do all of them. Okay, I got y'all. I got y'all. Okay, I got. <laughs> and online, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me show y'all real quick. Let me show y'all. Let me cut down on some of these tabs real quick because you know it's kind of taxing on the GPU a little bit and the CPU. Um do both of them all of them i got y'all man i got y'all don't worry don't worry i got y'all <clears throat> let's do an online real quick <gasps> wait 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 hold up here it is here it is here it is and online announces second round of pre-orders for ps5 and series x additional pre-orders will take place on october 13th wait my bad y'all at 2 p.m um est so yes guys look out i told you this is the week to look out for i told y'all now and online let's, let's let me go to and online so you guys know this is and online so make sure you're checking make make sure make sure um uh 
uh, make sure you go to Ann online and everything like that. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this, this store is going to have, um, some, what they're saying tomorrow. So tomorrow at 2 PM EST. And let me tell you something right now. It's going to go quick. It's going to go quick. Them scalpers are going to be all over on this and everything. So make sure, make sure, uh, you jump on this ASAP because yeah, it's going to go very, very quickly. All right. It says Walmart, um, went four hours ago. Yeah. Walmart is probably sold out. And I remember that last scam situation that they had going on. So, and online, I think, let me see gaming. Yeah. This PS five mess is going to go quick. I'm going to tell you all that right now. Let me, let me type in PS five. Let's see if it's going to come up real quickly. Yeah. So be ready. I'm going to give you, this is, this is the page. Just type in PS five and it will, it will come up and everything like that. So make sure you guys are ready to go um on that and everything um of course i don't know if they're gonna have more bundles or if it's just gonna be like single units it don't even matter as long as you got a ps5 that's all that matters so make sure you guys pay attention to an online i think they're uh backed by microsoft if i'm not mistaken so make sure you check out tomorrow at 2 p.m and i think messina just told me about walmart so walmart had stock and everything like that. So let's move along here, guys, to our next topic that we do have for you guys. And this is to do with Nintendo. All right. So for my Nintendo people out there, Nintendo Switch Joy-Con price in Japan. And they literally dropped the price in Japan right now. I don't know if they're going to drop the price here in the US because them, them controllers are expensive. So unlike with Microsoft with those elite controllers, which is just kind of like ridiculously expensive, I know it's like a more pro it's controller and everything. Oh Even my God. Finally, somebody activated Goku for the first time to dog on day. Jackie, thank you so much for utilizing the description down below. One of the legendary uh, supporters. Thank you so much, Jackie hitting us with that $40. Thank you so much. One love and God bless. I really do appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much. So yes, we're going to be talking about th this situation here uh, with the Nintendo Switch uh, with the Joy-Con situation. And I don't know if they're going to be doing something here um, in the States with a price drop or something, but it says that Nintendo is cutting the Switch Joy-Con price in Japan. The cost of a single controllers will be reduced by 16.5%. So that's insane. So from November 6th, the price of individual Joy-Con controllers will reduce by 16.5% from 4,480 yang. So, so basically 43 right there, 43 US dollars, basically. So I'm hoping, literally hoping that um, this actually comes to uh, the U S because them controllers, man is expensive. And I think, yeah, this is just for individual joy con controllers, but yeah, they're expensive. I think they're like what $80, um, in the U S right now. And that, that was actually having like, you know, drift problems and everything like that. So it is what it is. We'll see, um, if that actually, uh, comes to tuition. Now let's talk about TVs. Now, um, we're at the portion now where, I wanted to make a suggestion to you guys, but it's kind of, I can't really make it a hundred percent because it does not have HDMI 2.1. Technically it does, but we waited on an update. The ports are HDMI 2.1, but we're still waiting on an update to literally like activate everything uh, for 120 FPS, you know, with the HDMI 2.1 that it possessed. And then plus I wanted to ask you guys, for your main opinion. Now, this TV is supposed to be PS5 ready. So let's let's talk about this um, very quickly here, guys. I'm not going to waste your time or anything like that, but let's let's talk about this TV. And if people are not paying attention, you know, Best Buy have some really, really, really good deals right now at this very moment. And of course, the TV that I'm talking about, I wouldn't say this is the creme de la creme. I think it's the nine, the X950H is the creme de la creme uh but yeah this is just a better tv for gaming and everything like that so this is ps5 ready what do you guys think about this tv right here i know the the um the lg cx is very expensive i think it's like what fifteen hundred dollars sixteen hundred dollars this is way cheaper but sony is saying that you know the the actual firmware update to activate the 
you know, HDMI 2.1 with 120, you know, FPS and everything like that is not going to be available right now. We don't know when. Hopefully it's available during when the PS5 comes out. I mean, it would be stupid for them not to do it. But this is, I think, was one of the best values, I think, right now. It's a 65 inch. It's a X900H. Very, very good TV. Uh, from what I understand, I've been looking at reviews on it and everybody's saying positive things about it. It's one of the best TVs out there. And the only downside to it is, is that you don't have that HDMI 2.1 update right now. So if you buy this TV, it's not like the PS5 and Series X is out, but hopefully to their defense, by the time the PS5 comes out, they can roll out that firmware update, which means this can future proof you instead of you shelling out buying that CX because what do you guys think about this TV? Do you guys think that this TV is a good deal for a 65 inch? I need, I need your thoughts right now. I need your thoughts. The X 900 H is the one is the one, uh, the X 950 H can't support HDMI. Yeah. That's from what I understand. It's more of like a TV, like, like a regular watching TV type, um, thing for the, for the 950 H. Um, yeah, this is, this is a very good deal. Now, some of y'all talking about the CX, and bro that's the one i want to get but pff, i don't have it man i wish i did to get this tv uh but yeah if you really this this one is kind of out of stock the 48 inch but they have the 55 inch the 1600 dollars 1600 and of course i have my my uh member discount 1600 you see the big price difference but here's the problem with oled guys you're going to get burnings. That's a big price difference. You're going to get burnings with that OLED. You see what I'm saying? So I don't think this is a wise TV to get for PS5 or Series X because you're going to have some games that's going to have some still images on there. You're going to have icons that are going to still be on the screen and it's going to have burnings and everything like that. So you don't want any burn in or anything like that. You don't want any ghosting or no shadowing or nothing like that messing up your TV. That's the thing with OLED. You can't have it on set image for too long. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to either turn it off and everything and the light in the, the brightness is not great on OLEDs. And you know, it's more like for darker type of environments. Like if you have a lot of lights beaming through, you know, your windows and everything like that, it's not going to look good. It's not going to look good. And then you're going to have to turn up the brightness and everything like that. I says, what do you think of the Samsung uh, UE 55? Most of the Samsung TVs are pretty good. I think that uh, I was hearing something about the QT. Was it the Q 80 T or something like that? I heard that. I heard some good things about that one. But yeah, this one right here, bruh. Yeah, this this one this is this is the tv to get because it, it it comes out the box with hdmi 2.1 it has hdr 10 plus i mean it has everything everything now there's this is another good deal look at this one uh what was it lg nano i think it was so it 86 86 i think this is a good deal because it it does have the hdmi um 2.1 ready to go where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Um, what's it? The, this one right here, the 85, I'm sorry, 85. This one is pretty good. This one is pretty good. If you buy this TV, you'll be good to go for next gen. Like if you just don't really care about OLED and all of that, you'll be good to go. Here it is right here. It's even telling you on the back right here, the nano cell, uh, 4k, 120 Hertz. You know, you, you do have your two ports here, your two HDMI ports, and you got your, your USB and all that. So you're good to go. And you got two additional ports right there. So this TV is way less than the Sony Bravia, uh, the, the, the X 900 and everything. And yeah, this is a good deal for $600 and you get, you know, HDMI 2.1. So, oh, oh, it's, it's okay, man. It's okay. It's all good. We can check it. It says um, HDMI 2.1 is an overkill. And here's the thing. Here's the thing that I wanted to share with you guys right now is that how many of you guys bought the CX focus camera focus? How many of you guys bought the CX? How many of you guys went out there and spend 15 or $1,600? How many of you guys bought that already? 
because <clears throat> some of y'all, from what I understand, y'all spend a lot of money. It says, yeah, the LG Nano is a good choice. Yeah, it is. It is. For $600, you can't go wrong with that. How many of you guys bought TVs already? It says, I'm going to save and grind for that uh, Sony 65-inch TV. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty good deal for that Sony. And I think that's the one that they're saying that is PS5 ready. You know, Sony marketing, they're saying that the PS5 is ready. JIT says it's not all about refresh rate response time. Yeah. Yup. Yup. And here's the thing too. The, the response time, I think on the, the eight, the, the XH 900 is seven millisecond, right? If I'm not mistaken. And I think on the LG, the CX is one millisecond. So that's a big difference with input lag. So the, so the, the CX is definitely better. It's just the OLED. So I'm telling you right now, if you buy that OLED, just make sure you don't keep it on the same thing forever. Make sure you're switching it around. You know what I'm saying? Like try to do something a little bit different. Yeah. The input lag is one, one millisecond. So yeah, <laughs> that it's perfect. It's the perfect TV to get, but it, bro, it's like, it's, it's a lot of money for that TV, man. It's like they want $1,500 for that TV, bro. Uh, the TLC, the TCL TVs are good, too. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. The X900H is good. Yep. Yep. That's that. That's why I was showing right now for under $1,000. I spoke to Curry's um, UK recently. Plenty of separate stock on launch day. Oh, that's good. Uh, for PS5, that's good. I uh, see you better save up. Yeah. I mean, right now you don't necessarily have to jump out and get a TV right, right, right now. Uh, I says, Marlon, you, can you talk about the PS5 running hot? Bro, both systems are going to run hot as long as they don't overheat. I mean, 65 degrees Celsius is not hot. Heck, my PC sometimes peak up to 80 degrees Celsius. Now that's kind of pushing it right? And that's expected. Sometimes it peaks up to 95. You have lap laptops that are peaking at 95 degrees, you know, Celsius and everything like that. And that's, that's pushing it. You know what I'm saying? So 65 degrees Celsius is, is nothing for, for, for these next gen consoles. Yeah. They're going to get hot. That's why Sony went with liquid cooling, liquid metal. You know what I'm saying? They went with um, the design that they went with that big old 112 millimeter fan, you know, that's why Microsoft is doing what they're doing with the series X and everything. So yeah, 65 degrees Celsius is not, is not that hot. And that's what we were hearing the early reports from the Japanese gamers. We heard that it, it doesn't get that hot at least from, from an hour and 45 minutes worth of play. And so they're saying that the PS5 is very, very quiet and everything like that. So heat is definitely not going to be a huge concern for a lot of people. It's just like, is it going to overheat? No, no. Because Sony made sure that you see the, how huge that freaking heatsink is in the PS5. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Trust me. <laughs> it says an hour and 45 minutes of Astro Playroom. Oh, well, a game like that is not graphically demanding or cpu demanding or any it's not pushing the hardware but i'm telling you when those other games come out like god of war or horizon forbidden heck it might get high up the fan noise might ramp up a bit when you're playing demon souls you know it says i got the cx 65 inch tv <laughs> bro i wish i had 1500 right now i wish i had 1500 man i wish the only way i'll be able to buy that tv right now is if somebody say hey marlon here here's a hundred and here's a thousand five hundred go get you that tv that's the only way i'll be able to do it <laughs> that's why i was thinking about getting the 900 h but right now i it, it's kind of like you're buying a product that you don't know if the update is going to happen around the time when the ps5 comes out and then like i said you don't really have a lot of 120 fps games right now out the gate so you know you just got to think about that twenty three hundred dollars that's a lot of money it says you can pay oh man i ain't trying to put nothing on no credit card bruh it says for every one dollars and he could buy you right it says write the donation goal on the stream for the cx man you think ain't nobody ain't nobody ain't nobody love me like that for me to sit there and put put donation go all right watch this i'm a, I, so you're telling me 
you're telling me to do this. This is what you're telling me to do. You're telling me to do this, right? You're telling me to do LG CX. This is what you're telling me to do, right? CX go. That TV is $1,500. Now who in their right mind is going to drop $1,500 to help me get this TV? Yes, it's going to benefit the channel because I'll be able to do some reviews and and some stuff like that. But bruh, that's fifteen hundred dollars. I wish. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Let me. So you're telling me to do this. Some of y'all telling me to do this. This is what y'all telling me to do. Y'all telling me to have this right here on stream. You say, oh, make the goal. All right. See, the goal is right there. I made the goal. The, the goal is right here. The goal is right there. See, I made the goal. Cause I'm crazy like that. I'm crazy. So I made the goal now. There you go. <laughs> Not going to happen. Okay. <clears throat> it says I would buy a new TV and I bought a, a Samsung 70 in, um, at Walmart and it does 120 and my grill won't let me, oh, your girl, I'm guessing you're saying that your girl won't let me buy anything um else since i have the big tv i understand that it says right next to the goku <laughs> yeah right there. well the reason why i put it right next to the goku because goku is like donations for in the description so if people donate in the description that's when goku pops up it says marlon gonna go crazy if he reach man i'm not getting my hopes up i'm not getting my hopes up that would be insane if somebody be that generous, but you guys told me to do it. So I'm gonna put it up there, but I'm not getting my hopes up for that. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to get my hopes up. That would be a dream come true. If I get that, like, I mean, I would cry, literally cry on stream unboxing that joint. Um, I bought the 55 inch, um, X 900 H last week, upgraded from a 24 ish trash Vizio in my room. Laugh out loud. As for the update, it seems like it won't be ready until December. Oh, man, that's quite a wait, man. Says I have the LG CX and I love it, man. I'm hearing so much positive things. Um, Harvey, you the man with all the money, man. Harvey said, uh, no cap. You'll get it, bro. Your subscribers won't let you down. I know, I know. I'm just staying humble about it, though. I'm staying humble. <laughs> I'm staying. That's the TV that I really want to get. But like I said, you know, I'm I'm staying humble about it. it. Says, um, doing my part, bro. Hey, appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the for the five dollars. Um, like I said, you guys are crazy for doing this. <laughs> you guys are crazy. So here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. <clears throat> I'll probably have to cover the warranty because um the war <laughs> the warranty is probably like 300 and something dollars so I'll probably cover the warranty um a uh, generic user with the 50 pound says let's get Marlin this LG CX um people come on yo you didn't have to do that yo thank you so much for the 50 dollars man I appreciate that um, elite dino man says with the $2 says been watching you and Etika for years. Get that TV. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Uh, each viewer just give him $5. <laughs> Y'all are crazy, man. Look, man, if people look, look, man, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to get my hopes up, but like I said, people, people, people are generous sometimes. So look, man, I appreciate that. I said, change the goal to 1400. Uh, okay. Let's change focus camera focus. Good God. All right. So 1400. And again, just to kind of give you guys a quick FYI, if you donate in the description, I get the money right away so I can buy the T. Okay. There we go. So somebody just, somebody just donated $5. All right. So that, that knocks it down to. 39.5. Okay. Wait, hold up. What the heck is going on here? What the heck? What the heck going on? Hold on. 13.95. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the $5. Y'all are crazy today. 
Thank you so much for the five, man. I appreciate that. Use that Goku, man. Use that Goku so I can get the TV right away. So if we just so crazily happen to um, get the donation, I'll be able to just go get the TV right away. Um, if you if you activate Goku, uh, Super Chats, I won't get until like a month or two. So uh, it says my first donation, bro. Get that TV, bro. Hey, B Dizzle. Thank you so much for the five, man. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Uh, someone drop a big donation. I mean, a big one. I will I will price match. Harvey, please chill, bro. Ch Harvey, I already know what you capable of, Harvey. Oh, my God. Don't tempt people, man. You got some you got some insane people out here uh, that 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 have big hearts. <clears throat> uh, Tram, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Make sure you click that notification bell on all. Uh, it says, can you ask LG to sponsor or man? LG is right now is crazy, dude, with a lot of the stuff that they got going on. Uh, Jits with the two dollars. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Hey, every little counts. Every little counts. So I appreciate that. I appreciate that, man. Every little counts. Thank you so much. Uh, it says, how good do you think the PS5 haptics are? <laughs> from what I heard from devs, it's going to be crazy. Um, Xbox Series X up on Casco now. Really? Interesting. I think Casco, you got to have a membership. And I think they had some Series Xs uh, before. Uh, Series X bundle on 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 Cas Casco, yeah, yeah. They they you got to have a membership with them. Lopez, thank you so much for subscribing. Appreciate that. Costco's, yeah. Costco, yeah. He says you wait Black Friday, but <laughs> Black Friday they might they they might um they might be sold out. Yeah, Costco is um. You have to have a membership with them. Yeah, Costco. Yeah, apparently like some type of uh, membership or something like that. Uh-oh, here goes Goku. Thank you so much, Chamber, for the five. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Man, we back. We back in business. We back in business. Okay, let's see about the Series X real quick. Let's see about that. Xbox Series X. <clears throat> uh, some type of bundle. I don't see anything right now saying X. Let me see Xbox. Let me see something. I'm trying to see if I can find it for you guys. I know some of y'all probably want to get one, but <sighs> Greg with the one dollar. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. I don't see it. I really don't see it. I'm I'm looking for it. I, wait, hold up, hold up. Member only. Oh, it says page not found. It says page not found. I can't find it. So page. Not, it said check your Twitter. Hold on. Let me check Twitter. See what's going on. Hold up. Oh, look at this. Oh, wait, wait. Here it is, guys. Hold on. Hold on. So and online will have PS5 just like we talked about earlier. And online will have PS5 and Series X uh, bundles up for pre-order tomorrow, October thirteenth, eleven uh, a.m. PT. So yeah, you know this is gonna go quick. Extremely limited quantities. This is gonna go because bots they already know the time and everything. So it's <laughs> he said already out of stock. Yeah, you already know this is going to be gone before you blink. The fact that there is a set time, bots already know. Okay, let's get our bots set up right now. You already freaking know. Thank you so much, Kenneth, with the um, $1. Uh, Jamal, thank you so much for the $5.50. I appreciate that. It's all, it's going to be sold out. You ain't going you ain't going to stand a chance. It's going to be sold out. And of course, uh yeah. The Series X and the S consoles are going to be sold out as well. I'm going to just tell you all that right now. Uh, Resp, thank you so much for that $10, man. Really do appreciate that. It's going to go quick. It's going to go quick. I'm going to tell you all that right now. Hey, France, 
thank you so much for that $25 donation. I appreciate that, man. Thank you guys so much for blessing the show, man. Y'all trying to, y'all really trying to help me get this thing. Appreciate y'all, man. Um, um, it says update your goal. I need to. <laughs> Friends. No. Harvey with the $300. Yo. Harvey, chill. Harvey. Bro. Bro. Harvey and France. You guys are insane. Harvey. Oh my God. Harvey, chill, man. Three. Harvey, yo, I appreciate y'all, man. <laughs> y'all really trying to get me. <laughs> Harvey said price match. Yo, France and Harvey, thank y'all so much for the support. Oh my God. You are uh, UWA with the 20, another 20. Yo, you, you guys are insane, man. You, oh my God. <laughs> yo. Thank you guys so much, man. Seriously. Thank y'all so much. Y'all really trying to get me this TV. Oh my God. Joseph with the 20. Oh, y'all gonna make me cry, man. Y'all are going insane today, man. Oh my God. Who is going to price match Harvey with that 300, man? <laughs> Thank y'all so much though. Seriously, man. Y'all really trying to get me this TV. God bless you guys, man. Seriously, y'all gonna make me cry. L literally, man. You guys are too nice, man. I'm just staying humble about this, and I wasn't even expecting any of this. <sighs> P81D with the five says, get that TV, Marlon. You're a good guy. Would love to game with you sometime. Love for journey. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Um, Eric with the five. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. This is guys look man we are almost at a you guys are insane literally insane right now like i'm just put a thousand we're at a thousand now my heart is racing right now we're at a thousand right now my heart is racing i can't believe you guys are that insane i don't i don't see this i don't see the series x at at, at costco's i don't see it <laughs> he said where's mr beast <laughs> I know we're at 1k now we're literally at 1k you guys are insane right now oh my god we're at 990 um derek thank you so much for subscribing welcome aboard nightwing with the five thank you man you guys are insane right now like literally insane thank you so much derek i appreciate the love i appreciate it it says we got to get that tv together thank you so much i appreciate that old golf boys uh let's see here nightwing with the five says get that tv so you can play bug snacks <laughs> at 100 and 120 FBA. you guys are insane i don't see that series at oh wait hold up hold up hold on hold on it says page not found i'm guessing they broke the site uh the truth is spoken with the five uh, we got Fundren with the 10 says, uh, we with you, bro. Get that TV. Let's go, man. You guys are so nice, man. Um, Dr. Mystery, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome aboard. I appreciate y'all, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Donate through the description as well, because yeah, that, that will make me get the TV right away. If you donate through the description, activate Goku, I'll get it right away. Yes, he's, he's telling the truth. Um... Let's see here. Um, ge uh, generic user. Thank you so much. Every bit counts. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you guys are. I, I lost track of count right now. I think we're at 60. I think we're at 960 right now. We're at 960. I think I'm, I'm keeping track. I'm trying to keep track. Um, Moss, thank you so much for the 699. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. 
Um, Hero, thank you so much for subscribing. Yeah, so we're at 950 right now. Oh my god, you guys are going crazy today, bro. Uh, it says, what TV do you game on right now? Actually, I just game on a monitor. On my Samsung monitor. I have an old TV, 4K TV, but it's not, it's only, it's only um from like three, four years ago. So this TV is going to be huge. Uh, tell the wifey that the chat people help you get the TV. Yeah, Ooh. I know because I show, I show can't get this on my, <laughs> like, man, that's 1500, bro. Like real talk it says, how do you donate? Um, only see stickers. Oh, in the chat, in the, in the, um, in the chat, in the description, go to the description and you see where it says down, uh, donate to the stream to help the stream out. Yeah. That's how the, that's how, um, Goku pops up. Uh, friends with the $30 says, I like your show. Uh, you are a no nonsense, uh, fanboys. Uh, it says you tell it like it is get that TV. Hey, I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you so much friends for the 30 man. One love and God bless. Um, ants gaming world with the 20 says I'm from Virginia too, bro. I was raised in Norfolk. You know, I got to look out for you. Get, uh, get, Hey, let's go, man get it bro thank you so much and i appreciate that man um a harvey man you are in harvey came through with the 300 harvey look man i appreciate it. harvey says you deserve it bro i told you no cap hey man look look <laughs> yo this this is real love right here my heart my heart is shifting david with the 20 i lost track i literally lost track i think we're down to 900 now I think we're down to 900, right? Hopefully you guys are keeping track of it. I, I'm. This is an overload right now. This community is just, you guys are gonna make me cry, man. Seriously. God is so good, bro. Um, it says, there, is, uh, there it is, the power of real subscribers. Thank you so much, Sergeant, with the $10 Canadian. Uh, let's see what we got. Nighthawk with the 10 says, this is for your TV. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, Thank you so much, man. Seriously, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, thank you, guys. Let me let me go ahead. Yes, YouTube takes 30% of super chats. Uh, so that's why it's always good to active uh do the the link into this uh donate through the description because they don't take a cut out of that. Uh, but I appreciate the super chats and everything. I always do. Um, where we at? Where we at? Has anybody been keeping track? Where we at right now? I think we're at what? I think we're at 820. I think we're at 820 right now. I think we're at 820. I think we're at 820 right now. I'm trying to keep track of it. Um <laughs> let's see here. We're at 880. Is it 880? Okay, okay. All right, so we're at 880. I haven't been keeping track, so my fault. My calculations might be off. All right, so we're at 880. You guys are insane. <sighs> wow, man. They say you have enough for that X 900 H. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Well, well, no, actually that, that TV is almost a grand. <laughs> hey, Mark with the three says whisperistic with the five says, here you go, bro. I got kids. So not Hey, Hey, don't ever say that, man. I, look, anything, anything is appreciated just by you guys being here. You know, that's a, that's appreciated. So don't ever apologize, man. I look, trust me. I got kiddos too. I got kids too, man. We out here. We trying to make it. Um, the truth is spoken. Thank you so much for the five. All right. So how much, how much, how much is it that we're at? Just let me know how much is it that we're at cost of a living room to in Hawaii to donate. I could use donations. <laughs> hey, I feel you on that. Hawaii is amazing but it's very expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The LG CX is the best right now, even though it's OLED, but hey, I just have to turn it off when I don't use it. Um, uh, Christopher Thomas with the $5. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. As long as I'm, I'm going to try to get a warranty on it, so we, we should be fine. That's why I'm not too worried. I want to get a warranty on it just to be yes. safe. Uh, <laughs> cash app. No, I don't have any cash app. Glenn with the 50. Let's go, man. How much we're at now? How much we're at? Uh, okay. So after that 50, 817. Okay. 817 after that 50. 
All right, so 817. We're at 817. Man, you guys are insane right now. I can't believe this is actually happening. Like, like the wife is gonna be like, like, wait, what? <laughs> She's gonna be like, bro. Uh, I says warranty does not apply to burn in. I thought it did. If you get if you get it through Best Buy, right? I think you should be covered. Uh, I says this is dedication, bro. I respect you. You're great. Hey, man, God is great, man. I'm just a vessel. Ron, thank you so much for the 10. So that puts us at 807. You guys really trying to get me this TV though, like no cap. Ah, oh, God, God bless you guys, man. Seriously, Anthony with the $2 says, I have secured my PS5 and Series X. I can't wait. Yeah, me too, me too, man. Yes, to Anthony Rivera with the $2. You guys are going crazy. Uh, Professor Ack with the no 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 yo jose with the 300 to go even further beyond yo oh my god yo jose oh my god i lost track of how much we at right now jose with the 300 yo thank you so but harvey about to match you oh my god have mercy my heart i can't do this i can't do this i can't i can't do this. where we at now where we at oh you guys are insane bro i don't even know where we at right now Bro, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. My heart. Oh my God. Oh my God. My heart. I can't do it. I can't do this no more. I can't do this. Thank you. Thank you so much. What we at? Where are we at now? Oh my God. We're getting this TV today, bro. You guys are going to make me cry. We are 437. We are 437. Jesus. You guys are insane. Seriously, thank you guys so much, yes, dude. To go even further beyond. Oh, Gregory, thank you so much for the five. Bro. You guys are insane. You guys, we're at 431. Oh my God. You guys are insane. Yo, the generosity is amazing, man. Look, y'all gonna make me yes, cry. Oh my God, have mercy. Have mercy. Harvey with the $5. Let's go, Harvey. Thank you so much, man. You guys are insane. 426. Holy freaking cow. You guys are insane. This is my Christmas gift, right? Jackie with the 250. Oh my God. Yo, Jackie with the two. What the bro? That's what, like one fifth, one like 60. Bro, you guys are crazy. 155. Oh my God. Oh my God. Have mercy. Okay. You guys are crazy. Oh my God. Oh my God. You guys are crazy. <laughs> I lost count. <laughs> I, lo I lost count, bro. It says, can you unbox it when it comes? Yeah, heck yeah, I'm gonna unbox it when it comes. Bro, this is crazy. I can't do no more, bro. <laughs> I can't, I can't. This is crazy, guys. Seriously. Y'all gonna make me cry. Let's get that TV. Thank you so much, Gold, for the five. Frozen says, bro, um, order the TV during the live stream. You bet your bottom dollar I will. Oh, my God. Have mercy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I lost count. I lost count. 
God is God is present right now, bro. God is really present today. Thank you, Jesus, for, for these people, man. Like I said, you guys were suggesting this. I wasn't even thinking that this was even possible today. Oh my God, have mercy. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Yo. <laughs> oh God. Ah. Oh. The taxes is almost covered. You guys are crazy. Oh. Guys, seriously, man. Seriously, thank y'all so much. Like, I. <sighs> Don't worry about burning. The TV is great. Guys, seriously, you guys are insane. Harvey says you you got it already, bro. <sighs> Dr. Stump says Merry yes, Christmas with the 100. Can you explain HDMI 2.1? HDMI 2.1 allows you to get 120 FPS, 4K at 120 FPS. Yo, you guys. <sighs> yeah, yeah, the taxes is high in the VA. It's high. Seriously, thank y'all. It's actually going to be about. I, th I think it was probably going to be about 1800 with the taxes and the warranty, something like that. If I'm not mistaken, you guys are insane, man. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I got it. Generic with the 50. Thank you so much, guys. I, I might as well just leave it like that. You guys are insane. You guys are literally insane. Thank you, Jesus, man. Uh, man, forget warranty. <laughs> you guys are insane. Oh, my God. Marlon, any extra is warranty. Yeah, yeah, this is warranty money. This is warranty money. This is warranty money right here. God bless you guys, man. Seriously, this is war This got to be warranty money. Thank you guys so much. I I can't even update the goal no more. Y'all just cleared the board. Even further beyond. You guys are going crazy. Y'all gonna make me cry, man. Y'all gonna make me cry, bro. Like for real though. Like seriously. Says you are always humble, my guy. But remember, you truly deserve all you receive. Your hard work. Thank you so much, man. Look. You guys, all right, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it right now. I'm gonna buy it right now. You guys are insane. Oh, thank you so much, Troy Richardson with the 50. The truth spoken, bag secured. Hit that like button, stay blessed. You guys are insane, man. Seriously, he says, You are like a shark. Sharks, right? I don't know, man. I don't know. God is good, man. I'm just staying so humble right now. This is crazy. Raw with the $10 says, go get that CX. I have the C965 inch. You will love it. Get it from Best Buy. Warranty covers burning. Let's go. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. You guys are going crazy. Shout outs to everyone that showed love, Marlon. Uh, we're a great community. Most of that best community on YouTube, man. You guys are amazing says i don't know if um message was attached to my 25 um dollar dono laugh out loud but i'm looking for 4k uh, uh 240 hertz oily be smart tv can you help me uh right quick um do they even have a 240 hertz right now it says go get that cx and the warranty you got wakanda forever man you guys are amazing says i would cry getting two grand and 45 pro <sighs> I can't, I can't believe this, man. You guys are amazing, man. <sighs> Trying to stay strong, man. Trying to stay strong, man. You guys, <sighs> guys are crazy, man. Guys are crazy. 
I'm trying to, I'm trying to. <sighs> Seriously, man. Thank you guys so much, man. Thank you guys so much. Seriously. Thank y'all so much, man. To go even further beyond. Seriously, guys, thank y'all so much, man. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank y'all. I'm trying to hold in the tears, man. You guys are insane. I can pick up this TV. Yes, to go even <sighs> further beyond. Thank y'all so much, man. Seriously, you guys are, you guys are insane, man. To go even further beyond. <laughs> My God, have mercy. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it right now. <sighs> guys are. Seriously, man. Thank y'all so much, man. Even further beyond. I'm going to get it right now. I'm going to get it right now. You guys are insane, guys. Seriously, thank y'all so much, man. Oh, God. ZR with the 175 with the... The New Zealand it says couldn't activate Goku, but here you go. Much love. You guys are bless up. Um my guy, keep up the great work. I love the positivity. I hope uh your channel grow like yours. Uh, I says you are the real MVP, a hundred percent blessings. Um, which one do you think I should get? Should I get the 65 inch or I don't even know right now what to do. Uh, this was a community. This is what a community looks like. Thank you so much. Uh, look like old fashioned Medal of Honor. You guys are insane, man. 
I'm gonna order it right now. Which one should I get? Which one? Let me let me show you guys. Which one should I get? Sixty-five. Get the sixty-five or fifty-five. Fifty-five or sixty-five. Sixty-five. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going. We're going with the. We're going with this. With the sixty-five. Sixty-five. Oh my God. The sixty-five is too. Look. You guys are going crazy. Thank you all so much. Seriously, guys. Look how much is the for the 65. Oh my god. Look how much is it for the 60. So we go with the 55, right? So go with the 65. All right, all right. Final, final decision. 65 or 55. Trust me, the 65 is the one. Okay. 65 too big. 55. 55. Everybody saying 55. Everybody saying 55. All right. 55. All right. 55. 55. Everybody say go big. Uh, it says 55 uh, plus the warranty. Okay. All right. Everybody saying 55. All right. So 55 is. Thank you so much for that. For that. Um, everybody saying 55. Go big or go home. All right. So let's see how much it's going to be. Let's see how much 65 inch. All right. All right. Fine. Fine. Everybody's saying the 65 inch. All right. We're going to go with the 65 inch. We're go but look how much that is, though, with taxes. Oh, my God. OK, everybody's saying go with the 65 inch. All right. 65 inch. All right. We're going to go with the 65 inch then. Jesus, have mercy. Oh, you guys are insane. So let me see. Let me see. Let me see what we're looking like right now. You guys are insane. So 65. A lot of you guys saying 65. So we're going to go with the 65. Um, my hand is shaking right now. I know I know we should have enough for the 65. I know we should have enough. <sighs> y'all saying go with the 65. A lot of y'all saying go with the 65. Oh my. You guys are crazy. Y'all are saying go with the 65. Um, 65 is overpriced. 65. I would, I, I honestly, if I add warranty to this, it's going to be way more money. If I see, look at the, look at the warranty. Two year, two year warranty is 279. I said, before you buy, create a poll so the chat can vote, um, either, uh, 55 or 65. A lot of y'all are saying, okay, go with the 55. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because the warranty is expensive guys. The warranty is expensive. So 55. Yeah. The, the, it's a freak of warranty. <laughs> All right. So 55 it is forget it. 55. Cause we got to get the warranty. We got to get the warranty. Wait, I thought the 55 inch does have the, um, don't the 55, I think the 55 inch does have the, uh, the HDMI 2.1, right? Uh, which retailer will be supplying PS5? Uh, tomorrow it's going to be an online tomorrow. And then Amazon is supposed to be doing something this week on prime day on the 13th and the 14th. So yeah. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So 55 plus warranty. Okay. I think that's fair enough. 55 plus warranty. That's fair enough. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. The 55 should be fine because it has, it has the HDMI 2.1. Do I need to get any HDMI cables or anything like that? I shouldn't, should I get an HDMI cable? Geek squad warranty is good. Okay. Should I get the two year warranty or the five year warranty? Which one? 65 no warranty dang y'all saying y'all keep saying 55 ah, that's 2200 though bro that's 2200 oh my god i would say 55 i would say the kid that 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 65 is an overkill man 
55 plus the warranty. I think that's fair enough. Best Buy cables are overpriced. 55 plus two year warranty. I think that's fair, right? Okay, 55 plus the cable and okay. All right, all right, all right. So 55 it is. A lot of you guys are saying 55. So let's do the 55. Um, Best Buy is already closed, I think, right? Uh, it says ready in one hour. Okay, so what time Best Buy closes? Hold up. I'm probably going to have to buy it. I'm probably going to have to buy it tomorrow so I can pick it up from the store. What do you guys think? Because if I have it ship, it's going to take two days. What do you guys think? Should I just pick it up from the store tomorrow? <clears throat> do, cur do a curb pickup or something tomorrow and pick it up from the store tomorrow? Um, yeah, they close. Oh, wait, no, I can pick it up today. They close at eight. They close at eight. I can go now. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I can get it. I can get it today. I can get it today. Oh, I can get it today. I can get it today. They close at eight. So I can go pick it up. I can go pick it up now. Okay, bet. All right. We can go get, we, I'm going to get it right now. I'm going to get it right now. All right. So I just realized because I, I, I thought that they were closing at six. All right. So I'm going to get it. I'm get. I'm going to get it. 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 All right. Uh, let's see. So you guys say to do the 55 inch with, uh, let's see here with, uh, so the warranty does the geek squad, does the geek squad cover, um, how much warranty should I get? Should I get five years or should I get the two year warranty five years for three twenty nine? Can it fit in your car? It should be able to, if I put the seats down, uh, I says go Q led bro by, by Samson. So you're telling me get the, get the two year, right? Broadcast picking it up. Marlon live. <laughs> Y'all want me to go live with it? Um, it says two year warranty. Uh, yeah, yeah. Two year warranty, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two year warranty. Uh, I'm going to do an unboxing vid. Two year warranty. All right. All right. So let's do the two year warranty. Does the does the two does the does Geek Squad cover burning, right? OK, no, don't go live. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, third wave is coming um, supposedly this week. Amazon is rumored to have stock this week. Uh, let's see here. Five year warranty. Okay. Okay. Um, but it covers burning, right? I'm adding, I'm adding the geek squad right now. Does it cover burning? Okay. All right. All right. It says, um, do an unboxing video. I am the burning is covered. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the two years. Uh, I'm going to do the two years. All right. All right. So I'm going to do exactly what you guys tell me to do. Um, all right. I'm adding it to the cart right now. <clears throat> we getting it. We getting it. We getting it. It says, yes, it covers burning. Okay, good. All right. We getting it. Some of y'all said to do five years, but the five years is so much freaking money, man. Five years is like 300 and something dollars. Do you like you did the last stream and purchase it and take it along with you? Okay. I'm just going to record myself picking it up. Um, it says no, get five year warranty. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Get five years. I get the five years then. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get the five year. You Ooh. guys said to go with five years. So we're going to go with five years. It says, do you need a TV with 8K? Two nah. Mm -mm. Oh, you, you're good. You're good for right now with with that 4k uh 2.0 you're good y'all saying to get y'all saying to get it y'all saying to get the five years you you are gonna you're gonna um get in a lot of use out of it five years because you're gonna get a lot of use out of it out of it okay all right so let's go with the five years then you guys said to go with five years so let's let's go with five years 
so we we cover our sale. Okay, so this is a fifty five inch, and we're going to we're going to go with the five years. Um, ask about the warranty when you uh, get to the store, Marlon. Make sure you get the right warranty, bro. Uh, you can also change um, your choice when you get there. Okay, okay. So you are you? Do you guys think I should buy it when I get to the store? Or you guys think I should just do it right now and pick it up? You know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the store and go do it right now. I'm gonna go to the store and and do it so I can ask about the warranty, the Geek Squad warranty. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go at the store right now. Go to the store first. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go to the store right now and do it. It said buy at the store. Buy it in the store. Okay. 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 It says take us. I wish I could take the camera. <laughs> I wish I could take the camera. But what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record myself getting it. I'm gonna record myself getting it. And then what when I come home, when I come home, I'll live stream opening it up for you guys. Okay. So 55 and five years deal. 55 and five years deal, right? Okay, cool. I'll do that. 55 and five years. All right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and um and get it right now. I'll drive safe. When I come back, I'll live stream opening it up for you guys. Okay. Thank you all so much, man. You guys are insane. Fifty-five and five, going once, going twice. Fifty-five and five, fifty-five and five. Oh, we agreeing on that. Fifty-five and five. We agreeing on fifty-five and five. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 All right. All right. I'm about to go right now. I'm about to go right now. 55 and five sold. All right. Cool. 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 All right. We're going to take care of that right now. <laughs> thank y'all so much, man. Seriously. Thank you guys so much. You guys are insane. God bless you guys. We're going to go pick this up right now, man. We're going to pick this up. Thank you guys so much. We're going to go pick this bad boy up right now. I'm not even going to waste no time because they close at eight. So I'm going to go pick this bad boy up right now. All right, uh, Corey, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Make sure you click that notification bell on all to never miss out on what we got going on. Thank you so much, guys, for the subscriptions, for everything. Thank you guys so much for being a, so amazing. We got the TV. We're good. We are so good right now. Thank you all so much. Go live on, um, on your phone. I don't even know. My connection on my phone is kind of spotty. So five years, 55. Thank you guys so much, man. Love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Seriously, though, love y'all, man. So when I come back, when I come back, when I come back, I'll, I'll go live for you guys again, okay? Love you guys. Be blessed. I'll be back soon, okay? I'll be back. I got the, um, the Samsung, um, what was it? This is the Note 20 Ultra, all right? So love you guys. Let's get a thousand likes. This was an amazing stream. I'm going to mask up. I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to go get the TV. I'm going to come back and I'm going to uh, do a live unboxing for you guys. Okay. Love you guys, man. Be blessed. Five years, 55 inch. Got y'all. Peace. Love y'all. Thank you so much. Jesus bless you guys, man. Seriously. Thank y'all so much.